right, we're up. Okay. Dungeon Man made session number 63. Uh, last week. Last week. What happened last week? Um, you defeated some cloakers. I think that happened last week. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it did. Yeah. Yeah. And um, why is my map back? Oh, funny. Okay. Approved murder. Yes. We, yes. We were approved for approved for that. Yes. Balance. So, yep. You went there. You met uh, uh, some cloakers. You quickly dispatched them very easily. Really, uh, I gave you experience for that already. So you should see that you're pretty close to the next level. Nice. Under a thousand XP. Uh, nice. You met a will o' the wisp who uh, directed you to a grave um, and he, uh, or it, I should say, wanted you to uh, basically dig up his grave and take the wand uh, and kill Willow with it. Uh, kind of was really against Willow and, and everything uh, in that regards. Um, you then headed back, um, was about to leave, and you saw the Will of the Wisp. Uh, you were about to head, I think, back to level two. The Will of the Wisp kind of was going to attack you. You guys were scared to attack it based on Willow's decree, so you went and saw Willow. Um, and uh, in in that, you had gotten a lot of like information about Willow, the Mad Mage, uh, Yenark who brought Willow down here, Chrisanne, who you think is the Will of the Wisp. You've got a whole bunch of information. you got more information on the dragon, how the sword that's stuck in its head is actually a sentient sword, and her lover did it. You, it was a lot of information. I'm not going to go over all the information. But I will tell you this. Remember, a lot of these characters are have their own agenda. So they may or may not be telling you the truth. Or they're uh, telling their version of the truth. Yes. <laughs> True. You heard a bird singing about some stuff. You know, you guys were trying to figure that out. You know, Willow's telling her side. You heard Vool's side. Uh, Chrisanne really didn't give you much information. So you have all this information going on. Um, and when you finally went back to Willow, you were worried, hey, first of all, we dug up the grave. Is she going to be upset about that? Um, you didn't kill anything or anything. So she gave you some information on events, um, and um, you got a little bit more information on her. Meanwhile, there's Droop going on. You know, is he a captive? Is he not a captive? Kind of that sort of stuff going on here. So. Uh, she did say that she would uh, tell you all the ways to basically exit the level. So um, she did say that there was a way down to level 6 and level 7, and that there's three portals in this uh, on this level. Obviously, you know of the one uh, that you took to get here. Uh, and she tell you not only where they went but how to activate them so i think that's where we're at any questions she also said that she would tell us the rumors and hearsay that she knows about the shadow part the shadow, yes thank you yep yep so uh yes uh she did say that and she said she didn't have anything definite there so yep. um, she said, hey, I can only tell you kind of what I think or know. So um, with that, I think that's where we ended. Uh, if there's no other questions. We'll kind of jump into it, and hopefully Mike will be able to join soon. In the meantime, I'll kind of handle Perrin, I guess. Um, so she's, she's sitting there on, on her throne. Uh, it's the crystal throne kind of with eyes, yellow crystal or quartz. Um, she has the um, uh, displacer beast, 
she has hellish tree uh and griff you did the sniff test nobody seemed super evil the the displacer beast did but kind of like a protector if you will so it's kind of reined in as far as uh it has like a quote-unquote leash so uh willow goes so obviously you know how to get to uh level two uh you, you use that portal yes. and as she's talking a bird comes in and kind of lands on her shoulder and starts tweeting in her ear and uh you see her expression go from kind of a neutral kind of a neutral you know face to uh she starts frowning uh oh and then you you see she gets like almost a rage on her face and the bird flies off everything okay she says no I need you to come with me. I need to show you something. Did we do something? No. Okay. So, she says, Chrisanne, follow me. Hellestry, stay here. Droop with me. Uh, and she starts heading out the door. Um, and uh -huh. she will... Uh, so I will grab everybody so you don't have to, you go out there, you're never going to come back. It's all right. I'm going to move you back, Lear. That's fine. Okay. Maybe. Okay. Because I'll grab everybody here. At least I'll try to. It's a lot of people. All right. Let's do the grab tool. And I will move you. Uh, so she heads out the door. Hopefully I have to get Hollis Tree in this. And she heads through the forest. And I will show you that you are over here now. Uh, and as you walked out the door, you did not see the will of the wisp. Ooh, it was not out, out. That's good. Um, and so she... She goes, and I get, I'm, uh, you, you go through this forest, and this is the forest you see that has all the hanging dolls and all the rusted equipment, uh, decaying equipment, leather armor. You know, you see rusted plate mail, rusted swords, uh, and you see all the dolls and everything, like, hanging from the trees. Um, and as she's walking, uh, and I'm not going to put them on the map, you see, like, trees kind of start moving after her bears elk like all the the animals that she comes across starts following you until there's like a virtual army almost when she gets to this wall um and she uh keeps on going uh she goes again i'm going to move you all um right through the wall so you get to the river and the first thing you see is to the south, uh, it, uh, it's a stone platform. Uh, it is built atop a natural mound of earth and rock. It's uh, 70 feet long, 50 feet wide, 10 foot high stone platform covered with moss and ivy. Connected to the platform are two stone walkways raised atop 20 foot high marble columns columns there is a stone bridge on the platform that spans the river to the east um and a mossy staircase you can't see it uh so you can't see that so i won't even say that uh but perched on the uh stone platform is a green dragon and uh he uh, kind of like lifts up his lifts up his head um, towards you, and I will put that stuff on the tracker here. In a second. Um, 
he's on the platform, but I'm going to show you. Um, and also you see along the shoreline is three humans uh, in purple robes. You see... Um, one of the humans on his knees, uh, and he's, he's, uh, clutching a dead squirrel, like cradling it. Oh. And he sees, he sees Willow, he sees all you, and he instantly stands up and he goes, I, I didn't see it. I, I just, I, it ran under me and I stepped on it and broke its neck. Uh, and you see Willow, uh, just her, her face hadn't changed since she left. Just this anger, uh, and, and she walks over, uh, to this, uh, to Mark, uh, and, uh, the other two uh, kind of like back away. Yeah, I would too. And she looks at, at Mark and she says, Accident? He's like, I, I swear. And Fabric and Maddie, uh, obviously you don't know their names, but they said it, it was an accident. He was just going down to fish. You know, that's what you said we could do is fish, but... I don't know if the, the squirrel was hurt, but it just didn't get out of the way. And, and he accidentally stepped on it. And Willow, um, she she says, uh, hmm, uh, accidents do happen. But unfortunately for you, accidents do not happen in my forest. I know what you did. And you killed it. You must pay the the ultimate price. And and he, and this guy's like, look. Uh, and he just looked to Fabric and his uh, his teammate, I guess, or his cultist, fellow cultist. He's like, help me out here. And they're like, got their hands up. They're like, no, nah, you know, sorry, man. Uh, and you see Willow. Um, she starts casting. Um, and you see her cast, uh, what looks to be, if I can find it, uh, a beam of brilliant light flashes out of her hand in a five foot wide, 60 foot long line. And... Uh, this guy is going to have to make a constitution saving throw. Uh, let's see here. Alright, so constitution saving throw coming up. He does not make it. And... He is instantly like it. It's like as bright as the sun. This beam, and it burns him really good. Uh, as he screams out in pain, um, and you see that this line is continuing. Everybody's just looking around, looking at Willow. The the it looks like the other two cultists aren't joining in. Is any of you doing anything? He's not not dead yet. He is not dead yet. Ooh. Oh man! I mean, Willow, perhaps mercy for the accident. He certainly has suffered. Uh, and she turns t 
to you, and as she turns, you see him reach out to touch her. Uh -oh. That was his mistake. Yeah. And he misses. Yep. And uh, she, she just slaps his hand away. She's still got this radiant beam. And, um, I mean, this guy, this guy basically just yeah. burns uh, as uh, she, she continues to focus on this beam. And I don't even, I, I can't even, I can make a saving throw, but it doesn't matter if he would make it. He, he yeah. would, he's dead. And he just, he just burns to a crisp. And she's still got this beam going on, and she looks at the other two cultists, and she says, any more accidents going to happen? And and Maddie and Fabric are kind of got their hands up. You know, like, hey, nope. please. Uh, and uh, she, and, and you're observing some of this. The dragon's got his head in the air. He's looking. But he, he's kind of still laying down. He's he's basically prone. It looked like he was sleeping, probably. He's just kind of looking up. And Willow then goes... Uh, she walks back over and she says, You know, why don't you see me tomorrow? I am tired. I don't want to deal with you right now. I will give you your information. I promise that to you. I will give it to you tomorrow. But I'm done with it done with people today. She says, come, Drew, come, Chrisan. And she kind of starts walking away. Uh, Chrisan just follows. Uh, Droop looks at you guys, kind of rolls his eyes, and then kind of follows as well. And they quickly kind of disappear into the wilderness. Uh, Watch where you step, people. Uh, you see these two cultists, they come up, uh, and the one uh, comes up. He, he looks to be a little different than the other. Looks to be like maybe a little bit of a higher rank. Uh, well, he certainly carries himself that way. And he goes, Hey, guys! Uh, I'm Fabric. This is Maddie." Uh, we don't get too many adventurers down here. At least not for the last couple ten days since we've been down here. Uh, you guys here to help out? Help us out? Probably. Can you help me out? Help with what? Yeah, what do you need help with? He goes. So, me and me and Maddie and four other cultists came down here. It's only us two left. Uh, oh, and uh stupid goblin um we so uh, i don't know if you, uh, you've heard of me right fabric no the 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 slayer of the giants and and uh part of the nova clan that saved the world no that's cute no huh that's interesting yeah i was on the ship i was uh flying the ship we took out untold amount of monsters and yeah and, of course and you were giant. what do you want so um so I, I followed the dragon way back when, uh, called Venom Fang, uh, and he was he was going to join our cause. Uh, we were good friends, uh, Venom Fang and, and myself, um, and uh, some uh, adventurers uh, killed him. Uh, he was a green dragon, uh, much like, uh, uh, well, he used to go by Valdemar. That's what we know them as, but now he goes by the name of Tyrule. Um But anyway, uh, so we were good friends, uh, and then I met uh, a, a really powerful dr red dragon. Uh, you know, he was the one that kind of helped us along. Uh, but we heard of Valdemore down here, and uh, we've, we've come to, you know, worship him and uh, let him know that he is uh, valued amongst the cult of the dragon. But 
we get down here, and he's he's not Valdemar. He's he's the whatever the sword. So what we need you to do is take the sword from the dragon's head. Will he let you? Well, no. No, I mean, he won't let you, but you guys are pretty adventurers. As long as you don't, like, harm him, and you could just incapacitate him, you could easily yeah. take oh, the, oh, yeah, the sword sure. out. Yeah. Um, every and, 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 well, then he turns back into Valdemar. Then you have a powerful ally to get rid of the crazy druid. Because he would definitely help taking care of the druid. They hated each other. Until that stupid-ass sword got in his head. Okay. But why would we want and, to do all this? Well, if you do it, I'm pretty sure... And he kind of like looks around. And he, and he kind of saddles up to you there, Griff. I'm pretty sure... He'll give you some of his treasure. Just a piece or two, but he's got some good stuff in there. I, I haven't quite seen it, because, you know, even though he's a good dragon, he doesn't doesn't really allow us in there. I can't imagine why. Yeah, he's got some good stuff in there. Talk to the goblin. I think the goblin actually went in there. But I'm sure he would be very thankful, because he's he's his, that's not Valdemar. That's the sword in a dragon's body. Plus, you get a powerful sword, one of the most powerful swords on Faerun. Wow! Well, not sure we can say no to that. A plus one? <laughs> right. <laughs> plus one? <laughs> what? I just thought it. I didn't say it. <laughs> I mean, you don't know the story of Terry Lay? Nope. No. What, what can right? you tell us? Well, all right. <clears throat> so. <laughs> nice. Terry Lay. Is like a plus two sword. It's sentient. It's from Myth Draenor. Uh, ancient elven city. Okay. It can cast spells. Mm -hmm. It is an unbelievable. Uh oh. Hopefully he's okay. Minor medical problem. Mike just posted. Right. Uh, he he says, um, "Crap! I lost my train of thought." Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, the sword can cast spells. So it can cast some unbelievable spells. Polymorph. Fly. Or transport via plants. One. Plus. Well. I, I would personally like to take the sword. But it really gravitates towards good. Good uh, people, I guess. You know. It looks like you worship a good person. Yeah, mostly. Mike? Mike? Michael? I sorry, one second. That's okay. You can uh, hear take your time. Yeah, yep. I can hear you. Take your time. No, no, I'm fine. I'll, I'll explain all in a second. One second. Well, give him a minute. Is that blind cream? Yeah. I hear ya. There we go. Sensitive. Let's prevent traffic. So, 
Also, the sword can't be damaged or dulled. And the sword cannot be teleported anywhere without its wielder while the two are attuned to one another. What sword is this? This is Tyrule. It's the one stuck in the dragon. The one that's oh, stuck in the dragon. We just been asked so, to we'll pull uh, it out. Apologies. Long story short, I have a infected cyst. Um, I had to go to the emergency room oh, nice. yesterday to have it to have it drained, and I was just having to drain it more and change the bandage, which is really disgusting. So you probably don't want the details. Okay. <laughs> Sure. Sorry to hear that. Hopefully yeah. everything's okay. I have a, an appointment with a surgeon tomorrow, so okay. I'm not sure because it's infected. He may or may not just take the whole thing out, but it's like the, it was the size of a mango. Um, yeah, oh, it just okay. it's just okay. gross all around. Sorry, sorry. I, anyways, I should have told you guys. I totally lost track of time. And that's fine. No, it's okay, bud. Bad. No, that's fine. It's it's so. Um, what you missed, uh, Mike, is that. Um, Willow was going to tell you where everything was, but a bird came in, talked to her in her ear. She got very angry, and she told the party to follow her. Uh, and she went uh, to the kind of where the green dragon was and these cultists. And she, you found that a cultist was cradling a dead squirrel. And that the cultists had accidentally stepped on the squirrel and killed it. And she therefore unalived the cultists while everybody sat and watched. Oh, nice. Yes. And now she's... she left. She says, I'm done peopling today. I will tell you what you want to know, but that'll be tomorrow. I am done with people today. So who told us to get the sword? So Fabric, the cultist, uh, and his one remaining cultist friend are telling you about the sword, uh, how powerful it is, um, and that um, it is... Uh... Brian, you alright? <laughs> He's gone. No, oh. Brian. What is going on today, <laughs> Brian? So he's like, "Screw this! I had enough of this, or what?" <laughs> hey, was it him that was coffee and clearing his throat and then disappeared? Maybe he went to grab a glass of water or something. Yeah. Usually he's pretty good at advising. So it's a bit nerve wracking when it disappears like that. Yeah. Um so uh the sword is a um it, it is not a plus two sword. Uh it is a sword of sharpness as well. Wow. You said it never gets dull and everything. Yeah, it is the sword of sharpness. Um, so it does give you a plus to attack, but a sword of sharpness if you... Um, let's see, let me make sure, because this one's a little bit different. Uh, when you attack a creature with this weapon and roll a 20 on the attack roll, that target takes an extra 4d6 slashing damage. Then you roll another d20. If you roll a 20 on that, you lop off one of the target's limbs. Uh, the sword can... Shed bright light in a 10-foot radius and dim light for an additional 10 feet. Uh, that is just the command word. Uh, and like I said, it has three spells. Fly, polymorph, and transport via plants. Brian, you alright? There's something wrong with his 
He said yeah, there was some computer and... going on. Yeah. He had some computer yeah. issues. PC problem seems like the culprit. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I don't think anyone in our party would be excited by that sword. Am I wrong? I mean, it sounds like a <laughs> special sword, but I mean, I mean, um, yeah, as treasure, yes, but as a someone, no one, no one would want to actually use it, though, right? right? Nope. The sentient part is interesting, and I'm yeah, like chat with it, but everything else you can. I... I mean, if I could, like, hang out with it while it's still in my scabbard at my hip and it casts spells, like, from there, like, that'd be great. I think right. I, could, I think I have a, oh, it casts, it casts spells? a attunement slot for that. Yeah, it's a sentient it cast spells. Yeah, it's a sentient sword, so. Oh, cool. Yeah, it casts, uh, casts fly, polymorph, and uh, transport via plants. Oh, shit, I missed that. Um, but it, so if we chose to do this, we would be going against Willow's orders, all right? Yes. Oh yeah, she said leave the sword alone, right? Yeah, yeah, she explicitly said leave it alone. So we can't even like mm -hmm. try to get away with like, oh, we thought we were helping you. Right. Yeah. And if we did it, a bird's going to tell her. Oh yeah. And we suspect what well, we were told, right? Like that sword is the thing that's making the dragon good right now, right? Yes, that is for right. sure. That is for sure. Yep. Right. So I if we pulled the sword from the dragon, we're probably going to have to kill the dragon. No, yeah, we'll have, yeah, to, we'd have to defeat the Maybe. dragon somehow, knock it out, or... To, to get the sword out. But yeah. I think if we take the sword out, the, the dragon's going to go after Willow. That's what Fabric is oh. saying. Right. Probably? Oh. We don't, we don't have a lot of good promises here. Right. Wasn't yeah. Venom fighting an evil dragon? Yes. And Droop killed him. <laughs> <laughs> we don't mind that, though, right? I mean, we don't... Yeah, we don't we, mind that, yeah. Are we, are we in love with Willow? Are we aligned with her, really? I mean, we don't, she was kind of smelled yeah, neutral, right? I, mean, I, I would say we're not aligned with anybody on here. We're playing yeah. all all seven sides. Or however many right. <laughs> yeah, Mike, so I, I told the group uh, you've got a lot of information on Willow and what's happened. Not all of it might be right, right? Because everybody's got their quote-unquote own account of what happened. Plus, you're in the dungeon of the Mad Mage. It, it could just be false information. You don't know yeah. right now. There's a lot of stuff going on on this level. But that Wanda Fireballs, that's real. That was, that was sweet. Well, that's <laughs> real, yes. Yeah. You do and have a Wanda Fireballs. That was worth digging up. Actually, that's oh, the yeah. one... That's the one creature that I kind of like is the Willow. I, the I feel bad, <laughs> but I suppose we're on we're on the Willow Wisps team if we ally with the dragon, right? Right, we are. Uh, we were conspiring to kill her, but we weren't, weren't really though. That, so that you know, we met the dragon yet? No. So he's he's looking at you guys. He's on the platform uh, to the south. He's, he's oh. got his head up. You do see, like, what it looks to oh. be, like, it's almost like a unicorn. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Sticking shit. out of, like, the front of his... And this sword is, like, gleaming with gems. It's like the hilt has got gems in it. Oh, man. Uh, it really, you know, reflects the ray of the sun. Um, and it, as you guys are all just kind of standing here, it literally, within an instant turns to like night oh i'm not going to shut off all the lights here because that'll <laughs> that'll just uh, destroy probably fantasy grounds if i have to turn back on but it's instantly night all of a sudden you just see uh uh salune in the in the sky with the the trail of tears or whatever that uh, was the crown of tears i don't know what it is exactly that's it's trailing from the moon whatever. yeah whatever it's when the moon blew up and stuff's trailing from it. Okay. Uh, you know, it looks to be a pretty clear evening. Uh, you see what looks to be stars. And, you know, it, it's just weird, right? Because, again, you still have the stalactites kind of sticking through the sky. But it is just, like, instantaneously just turns to night. Okay. Uh, and it's about 8 o'clock at night, roughly now. 
uh, 8 p.m. Did that happen last night? Were we here last night? No. No, we, this is the first day. Oh. Yeah, you it, you've spent a full day down here. You haven't taken a long rest down here at all. Uh, the the day started with you taking the uh, the dwarf down. And the... it's is not the, a spell, uh... right? Can I recognize if it's a spell? So, um, it's uh, Lilo told you that it was due to a bunch of wish spells that Hollister cast. You don't know if somebody or something is controlling this. Uh, obviously, it's magical, right? I, I mean, that that goes without saying. But yeah, you don't know if it's a spell or if someone's controlling it or something. Well, I'm just more concerned to see if you just simply guessed darkness on us. Oh, no, I mean, you guys can see. You still have dark vision up, so you guys can see fine. It's just It just instantly turned from day to night, like with the snap of the fingers. That's practical. <laughs> no sunset, no nothing. I mean, we are in a cave where there's no sun either, so there you go. <laughs> well, there's that. Is there enough, like, moonlight to see? Well, you've got dark vision, remember? You got it for eight hours oh, from... Oh, yeah, okay, sweet. So everybody's fine here as far as what you can see or what you can't see. Is that dragon even aware we're here? Is it like? Yeah. Oh yeah, he's at looking us? at you. He's totally looking at you. He saw the thing. Uh, he saw Willow kill the the guy. He hasn't said anything. He really hasn't moved. Uh, he's just laying down, looking at you. Um, uh, that's and, it. I mean, and he's up on this. And he's called us. Want us to kill the dragon? No. 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 They, they want the sword out. They want to worship yeah. the dragon. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. but they want the sword out so that they. Okay. So he would have worship a bad dragon. Good dragon. Yep. So when they said that he, they, they couldn't take the sword. Did, did, does that mean they tried before? They said that they have no way of incapacitating the dragon to, to, to do that. They take it out. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, fabric. I don't know that we do either. That's, right, right. right. Fabric looks like he's the more powerful of the two. Um, but not by much. Yeah. And if we were going to beat it, we we wouldn't just incapacitate it. I mean, we wouldn't at the end call non-lethal damage, so it would just go to sleep. Right. I don't. Right. I mean, if we're going to beat it, we're going to beat it. <laughs> you know. And so one way or another, yeah. Well, you guys can hold like cast whole beast or something on it, right? You look like powerful adventurers. I know the other group I was with could do stuff like that. They were pretty powerful. Well, uh, where are they? Know, actually, well, actually, looking at you guys, you guys don't look even halfway as decent as they do. Right? I see. And, and where did where'd they go? That's intentional. Uh, where'd they go? Um, I had to leave them oh. uh, on my own accord uh, yeah. because, uh, honestly, I was just getting kind of tired. I was kept on flying the the ship and I just got kind of getting tired of you know them telling me what to do when I was clearly the the leader but clearly clearly hope you, hope you weren't stealing from them <laughs> no I break the same that yeah yes he is saying oh. that no. what looks to be the strongest of the group is saying that I'm kind of weird yeah, well, I mean, they got a little bit, you know, they, they they wouldn't let me go on their adventures. They were like, oh, stay with the ship, you know, so. I, I heard the, I, the bugbear, I heard the bugbear one shot a dragon. Is that true? Uh, I, don't, I don't know anything about that. I was, I was gone by that time. They replaced me with okay. some fucking dwarves, if you could believe it. Bastard dwarves. Dwarves, huh? Yeah. Anyway, hmm. I know I, I could. I know it's really about me, but really, if you could, like, just all you gotta do is like maybe maybe one of you guys can like sneak up on it and distract it, and the other one pulls the sword out. Well, I mean, we'll consider it. 
Okay. Well, that'd be great because. I mean, would Mage, do we think Mage Hand would be able to pull it out? <laughs> uh, it, you look at that, the sword, it is. It's in there to the hilt. <laughs> I would yeah. think, like, invisi invisibility probably would be a better chance, right? Yeah, but, invisible. But, it, but it's a green dragon, so, I mean, I mean <laughs> we don't know whether it's. I mean, don't, can we tell what. how old it is? I mean, I mean sure. It, I mean, um, a young one or. Anybody? I mean, uh, well, you've seen a dragon, right? You've seen an adult dragon uh, hmm. way back on uh, yeah. Stormwreck Isle. At least two of you have. Uh, yeah. Roll me investigation. Dun -dun, dun -dun. Straight roll for me. Yeah, apparently you can't tell. Uh, oh. Lear, no, you, you don't need it. Okay. So, Lear, you're kind of looking over it. Um, it looks to be uh, of the the younger Varier, Varier, Varier. Oh my god. It's a younger dragon. Okay. That does. That still means it. it yeah. Uh, there's, uh, as you can see here, there's plenty of room for it to fly. Yeah, wow. so the problem is we can't, there's no way to one-shot it, even with all of us going <sighs> once and sneaking up on it's going to be like it, it's passive is probably better than mine by twofold probably, I don't know. Yeah. That certainly won't be easy. Wait a minute. We haven't talked to it yet, have we? If we decide, we're not, right, if we decide to do it at all. We're not thinking about pulling yeah. a good sword out of a evil dragon's head, are we? I know, right? <laughs> I mean, it would be a way to get the good sword, but and then at that point we have an evil dragon that'll take out Willow. Right. So, I don't know. But I don't think, okay, so I don't think it can beat Willow. Based on the level spell she was casting. All right, but it, um, but I think the promise was that he might he would probably help us. Right. Well, maybe. Yeah. yeah but but she's a we, large druid. Would you or <laughs> want to team up with an evil dragon? Right. And then yeah. what? And then yeah, and then this thing is probably e more evil than she is. So which one's really telling the truth, and who do we side with? You know exactly. that kind of thing. I, don't forget. Love, we don't have any other. Oh, go ahead. Sorry, I, I was, we don't have any other quests right now at all, do we? Like we're just still learning this place. There's nothing more we need to do. Oh, aside we still from need to drive the werebats out of here. Yeah, the werebats. Oh, that's right. And figure out what she knows about the shadows, which is tomorrow. Yeah, that's right. Hopefully. I mean, don't forget okay. when you were walking towards this place, she had a virtual army following her. Of animals, treants, right, uh, everything. silkworms, right, uh, yeah. spiders. So, don't wanna... so I don't honestly, I don't think the, this young dragon. I mean, yeah, we we probably could hurt it. I don't know that we would be able to kill it, but she would wipe it out. Yeah, yeah. that thing's not going to last would, long. Yeah, you know. she'd wipe us out though too, right? <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, mm -hmm. probably. Yeah. And I still haven't is it, heard a reason why we would even want to. Yeah. Isn't the fight between a green dragon and an archred something you sell tickets to? Yes. <laughs> yes. Pop, yeah. popcorn. I, I wouldn't step in there for all the gold in the world, I think. We Man. worry about the whereabouts then? I think so. Although we don't have permission to beat up on the whereabouts. We get no, We have it. We got nothing. Like she, she, she won't let us. Uh, I don't think we talked to her about. We talked. We. I don't remember. Did we talk? Did she, she say not she, to talk, engage them at all? Um. Did you talk about the werebats? No, she considers them part of the ecosystem here. Yeah, yeah she's telling uh, they're they're killing the vermin and all that for. Her. Yeah. Like taking care of rats and rodents and things like that. The only one she doesn't like is the one that was expelled. That yeah, was correct. Yep. Yeah. 
Well, I'm gonna go talk to the dragon. You got the yeah. You got the impression if you attack the werebats, you're attacking Willow. Uh, so you walk over, uh, towards the dragon, um, and, uh, he's, he's up on this building, right? So he's kind of towering, looming over you as his neck kind of, like, looks down, and he goes, Hey! How you doing? Uh, we're, we're doing well. We're, uh, we're adventurers just passing through this level, and, uh, we've already met your friend Willow, and... Yeah. We thought we we drop we thought we dropped by and introduced ourselves and say hi. Oh well, hi. I'm Terry Lay. Um, yeah, what's, what's, um the, what's that building that you're on? It's a building. It's a building. Yeah. Uh Sorry, and I. Where, where you guys from? Ah, uh, Waterdeep. What's your name, little boy? Uh Perrin is my name. Do you want to see my? Do you want to see my cool hands? <laughs> sure. I show my hands. Ah! Oh. Wow. You're a regular undead, are you? Hey, what's Surprise that? Uh, kept you alive. What's that shiny thing sticking out of your head there? <laughs> oh, that? It's Nunya. <laughs> oh. Nunya. None, none, none of my business? None yeah, business? none of your business. Oh, oh alright. I'm just uh, i just a helpful little guy, and I thought maybe you had something stuck in your head there. Why? Well, I think if it was like a... I don't know. I was going to help you get it out if you needed help. But I guess oh, yeah? You're going to take me home? Uh, no. Do you want to go uh, home? Yeah. Where, where's where's home? home for you? Miss Stranner. Where exactly is Myth You know what that is? You don't know where Myth Draner is? Not specifically. Everybody roll me... <laughs> uh, survival. Roll, everybody roll me geography. No, <laughs> survival. I got survival. I got pretty good survival. So, Parent, you're the only one that rolled over a 10. Um, so, you know Miss Draner um, is an ancient elven city. Um, it is located kind of in the middle of um, uh, of the continent. It's a ways away. Let's just say that. Uh, it wouldn't be super easy to get to. Um, and, but... Miss Draner has recently been in the news, quote unquote, as uh, when the Shadow Var, if you will, um, kind of like lost their, I don't know, hold on the continent for the most part. Um, one of their flying cities fell on Miss Draner and almost completely obliterated it. Oh no! Would this dragon know that? Probably not, eh? Um, this is a fairly recent, within I don't know. I think the last five, six years. Okay. So, uh, do you miss do you miss your home there, bud? Yeah. Kind of. Yeah. Kind of well, would like to go back. Why haven't? You? Oh, what's so what's stopping what's stopping you? Uh, you know, I it's not bad here. You know, it's kind of cool being a dragon. You know, I yeah. mean, let's be honest, that's kind of cool and all. Um, but, um, yeah, you know, I, I, I like kind of helping uh, have Willow. I mean, this is a nice place. I mean, it's got some, got some trees and kind of reminds me of home a lot. Uh, you know, it's got a, a nice, sexy elf as a protector. Um, you know, I, I I don't I don't mind it here. Hey, well, while we're here, do you, can you think of anything that we could help out with while we're here? I mean, we are capable adventurers after all. Uh, don't kill any animals. 
Hmm. Or anything, what about the really werebats? Here. What about the werebats? They're kind of pesky, aren't they? Oh, those guys? Nah, they keep to themselves in the... And he kind of, like, nods his head over towards the buildings there to the... Um, although you wouldn't be able to see it because of this wall here, but uh, over here, he's like, nah, they serve their purpose. They're fine. I, I see a couple of them, like, occasionally, like, leave. I don't know what that's all about. I, I don't know where they go. I don't really care. They're not, they're not causing too many problems. They leave from where? Oh, okay. Uh, they, they just kind of leave. Like, they, they go, uh, into the, uh, building, uh, to the north, uh, northwest. Oh. And they come back eventually. You know they have a bit of a nasty reputation as disease spreaders, right? Okay. They haven't spread oh, any disease dragon. down here. Oh, a big dragon like you might not care, but... Okay. Well, they don't, before they you don't know attack it, like anything the, here. Before you know it, like the property values are going down in your area, and... The what? You've got a real problem on your hands. <laughs> the what? Huh? Oh, sorry, I was just thinking out loud. Sorry, little boy. Who's your friend? It's, it's, it's okay. Who's your oh, friend? Hey, hey, hey. Guys, come introduce yourselves. What was your name again? Little boy? Oh, my name is Perrin. P-Ron? Sure. Whatever you like. Okay, P-Ron. And you're... What were you again? Sorry, you're... Uh, Vold Voldemort? Voldemort? Kyrule. Kyrule? Yeah. Oh, what did I? Why did I think your name was Voldemort? That's, that's all. I, I don't know. All right, what's 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 going on with big old hunky guy over there? Who? Me? Yeah. I'm I'm just here. I'm hanging out, I'm trying to figure out yeah. why you're here. I'm here protecting the the level. Okay, but don't you want to leave? Eh. I mean, not really. Maybe a little. Maybe a little, but not really. Why, what's your name? I'm Griff. Giff? Griff. Or is it is it Jif? It's Giff or Jif? It's definitely Griff. Okay. Is that it? You just, humans got like seven names, don't you? Um, some humans might have more than one name. I, I don't have seven names. Oh, so you just you just go by Biff? Uh, you can call me Biff if you want. Okay. What's uh What's the little elf over there? He's uh, trying to hide around all the time. I see ya. Yeah, I wasn't hiding. Okay. What's your name? Lear. Leap. Yep. All right, all right Leap. Dodge and run too. Okay. <laughs> Cool. I like your calves. Uh, who's the little who's the little fairy? That's me. What's your name, little girl? I'm literally hiding behind the trunk. What's what's your name, little girl? Come out. My name's Pi. Psy? Eh, if you wish. Okay. I mom. sigh all the time. Hey, uh, would you happen to know if uh, where entrance to level 6 and 7 are by any chance? Yeah. Would you happen to tell me if I'm asking politely? Sure. Cross the mm -hmm. bridge. Oh. oh. At 6 or 7? Um. It goes down. Oh, it's good to know. I mean, if you cross the bridge, um, you, you, it, it goes down. I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't really care. Because I'm on level, well, whatever level this is. Right. Right. Yours. No, it's Willow's. I'm just help protecting. Oh, okay. You're just hanging out. She makes some... Well, I won't get into that. I hear she makes good muffins. 
Uh, let's just say they didn't take me out of the room when they were doing the things that you guys do. It's quite interesting to hear the uh, sighs and moans. Oh. Uh, oh, her and the, uh, her and the goblin. The goblin? No! What the? You're fucking disgusting! <laughs> okay. You don't what the hell is wrong don't... with you people? You don't think Droop's a handsome goblin? A goblin? No, Chrisanne. The guy that buried the sword in me. Or, well, in the dragon. But the me. Well, I'm the sword. I'm the dragon. Oh. Oh, so we're talking to the sword right now. Well, who the fuck did you think you're talking to, little boy? P Ron? I, I, yeah. I just thought we were talking to a dragon. But okay. you've. So you've possessed the dragon, in a way, is what you're saying. So. I mean, are you sick of? Are you sick of being the dragon? Oh, eh. that's why you want to go back to Mithrana. Well, I mean, if like something happened to the dragon, I wouldn't mind going back to Mithrana. You know what I'm saying? But it's cool but, being a dragon. Aren't you kind of bored though? I mean, you're just staying around here doing nothing. No, all day. we like... get adventurers down here sometimes that actually come down here and kill things. And then I can kill them because I'm help protecting. Okay. So I didn't that kill was... I didn't kill the cultists uh, because uh, I knew that uh, Willow would take care of it, and if she needed help, I would help her. But it was just a cultist. Oh, and be, and think of the cultists. Can you take those two fucking guys with you? Like I'm so sick of them moaning. Oh, I wish you were the green dragon for <laughs> real. I'm so. <laughs> I'm so tired of, of, oh, why do you have to be a good dragon? Why don't you, why, oh, Valdemar, make love to me. Oh, Valdemar, please. So you just you're, take those you're not a good dragon. I mean, you're a good sword, not a good dragon. Like, you should, like. Oh, I'm a dragon right the, now. Yeah, but just like your little dragon. point. With come, weird ass hands. The dragon, come with us and then help us. Help us destroy the rest of this uh, dungeon. Fuck that! I thought you liked killing adventurers. Yeah, and on there uh, with trees. But you don't get there to do it. There is no other trees that I know of on any level. Look at this. The sun shines. It's nice. I can sun myself. Feels great on my body, my serpentine body. Well, yeah, I can actually feel the body, right? Then, can you? Well, yeah, I'm um, the dragon. What part of this you don't you understand, Piron? You're a sword that's possessing a dragon. Yeah? And you're a soul you're uh, possessing a meat bag. Alright. Well, I just thought you might be bored up there, that's all. Wrong. So I'm, I'm really close to the dragon, right? No, he's like 30, 40 feet in the air. Oh, he's up on the oh. thing. Yeah. Oh, hey, can, uh, I, can I get a closer look I... at you? Absolutely not. <laughs> oh, you're scared of a little boy? I don't, don't come near my building. Oh. What, what do you think I'm going to do? I can't, I can't fly. I can't fly. I was going to climb up the wall. Is that okay? No. I thought I wanted to show you a cool thing. I can walk up the wall. You want to see that? Uh, no. <laughs> it's pretty cool. I'm just saying. I guess you just out. Just you know, fight your board down. Don't here come. And... Don't come around my building. Come around here no more. Oh, I thought we're. Awesome, poor land lover. Oh. But, but I can fly, and you can walk up walls. It's awesome. You should see it. I can fly too. But so show me. Don't we need to get? Do we need to get through that building to get to the bridge? To get yeah, you go around. Oh, we can, we can go around? Yeah. Oh, okay. What's in the building, do you know? It's the same as hmm. everything else. Okay. So, can we, go, can we go in there? No. Okay. Even if we don't touch anything? You go in my building... And I'm gonna have to put put you down. 
that sounds unpleasant. But you were a good natured thing. That sounds uh, Do you just allow anybody into your house? Well, P-Rod? Kind of light, you just, yeah, people well, are like, hey, can of. I go into your house? <laughs> I don't think you can fit in this house. I don't understand how it's your house. Number of strays. Yeah, well, you just allow some dudes you just met. Hey, let's go into your house. Hey, can I, I just want to look around. Oh, they're good-looking females, and yes. <laughs> You're sick, P-Rod. You need help. Well, I, I, I do need some new hands, if you know anyone that can provide. You should get that checked out. <laughs> did. Yeah, you want to come? You want to have a closer look at them? I'll come up there and you can see them. Nope. <laughs> yeah. Well, we've had our fun with them. I wanted to see if I can get a closer look at the sword and see what it, you know, would we have to kill it to like get it out or whether or not, you know, that's. I mean, you can see it well enough. Hold. It is hilt deep in his skull. Okay, so there's no stealthy sneak up there and pull it out. No. We, pr we pretty much got to kill it, put it down. Or knock it out or incapacitate it. Like if you polymorph it into a frog, does the sword stay the same size if the no, dragon it would, it becomes would just, a frog? It would just be a frog that you know of. But the, would the sword be free of the creature if the dragon was polymorphed into a frog, for example? Uh, you polymorph the Zorn... You haven't polymorphed anything else, have you, Pistolette? Have you polymorphed yourself or anybody? I don't think so. I Sorry, I was on you. No, I haven't polymorphed okay. anything. Okay, it was just a Zorn. So, uh, yeah. Pistolette would know that anything on the body would also polymorph with it. Oh, okay. I thought right. I was being clever. Okay. Turn it into. Um... The same thing with Banish, right? I'm trying to think, how can we magically remove the, the dragon from the sword? And like, you know, and then grab and say, hey, we didn't touch him. And then, but then grab the sword and run kind of thing. <laughs> I'm looking for a loophole. All right. hmm. I don't know. Yeah, I might have lost too. Yeah. Maybe, maybe, uh, I mean, we can always go talk to the werebats Let's see what they have to say we talked to the kooky one but we sure. haven't talked to them maybe maybe they want something in exchange for leaving or maybe they want to leave and they can't yeah no good call and maybe we'll get an opportunity along the way to although again if we take the sword out of the dragon's head then we're fighting the druid right do we want? I mean, yeah, and oh, dragon. I feel like I don't know. <laughs> I feel like eventually we're probably gonna fight the druid, but, but and the dragon. I haven't heard a good reason yet why. Right, I, I'd rather know. I'd rather not fight the whole forest. Right, exactly. And I, I think we're gonna need a long rest before we get too involved with a huge battle anyway, right? Yeah. Um. How is everyone on resources? Should we, should we go for the nap? Should we go talk to the? I'm full on hit points. Oh, I only have one spell slot though. Yeah, I think we're. Pretty yeah, good. spell slots. Yeah, you guys want a nap here? You're safe. Like in the forest, nothing's gonna attack you. And where's that bridge? Is it over there. Uh, Ooh, over that, there. That bridge. Okay. Yeah. Well, we you guys around, can. Right? You guys saw. Um. Yep, so you see, like, a staircase going up. Uh, you can't actually get to the What bridge. the hell? You can't get on the bridge without going in your building. Yeah, that's what I... What's up, buddy? I'm flying around at 30 feet. That's what I see. Hey. Hey, sword. Yeah. Uh, we can't get on the bridge. Well, that's not my problem. Just what? don't... You could go on the battlement, but don't go in the building. Huh. <laughs> so, so does that mean we, we can, get on we the bridge? Go the around the stairs. There's fucking stairs to the okay. south. All right, we can take the stairs. Hey, what? You see, your favorite goes. Hey, <laughs> what? where are you going? Well, shut up. We're checking stuff out. Don't be. A, don't you be a shut dead. up. What'd you say? 
Okay. You shut up. Uh, yeah, I can't hurt. Yeah, what are you gonna do? Yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> Suck these nuts. <laughs> so, I'm asking the uh, the parties. What if there's a way to get on the bridge? Do we get out of here, or do we bother with the store? Right. Yeah, I say, yeah, we can move on. Huh. Um, so, I... a couple other things is you did see that the river is, is flowing. It, remember, Willow had mentioned that it was kind of diminishing a little bit. It's still going pretty strong. You did see, before the, the light went out, there's a boat, a boat tied to a like a little pier here, hmm. as well. Um, so that's only the other thing that's here. Yeah, well, we're heading for a long rest, presumably. So, three right, spell well, slot, can... three fly spell. We're out of here. I mean, you could you could sleep in the forest. It's fine. Hey, uh, sword boy. Do we? Yeah. Who does that boat belong to? Oh, that, I don't know. That boat's been there a while. Oh, so you don't think anyone will complain if we used it? Uh, no. I don't think so. I, I... Hey, favorite. Yes. Tyrule. What's going on with that boat over there? Remember that boat that was over there? It's like, I can't see shit. I'm a human. Uh, It's kind of dark. Uh, yeah, the boat? I don't know. I never went over there. I have no reason that we don't need a boat for anything. I don't know. Terry Lay turns to you and, uh, Perrin, and, and, he, and he just goes, I don't know. I don't I don't know. I've never really anybody see, seen anybody use that boat. Huh. Well, so uh, that's another option. Terry Lay, I do have another question. Where where does uh where does Willow's like rain end? Is it this whole level? Yeah, it's this whole level except the, those caves. She doesn't really go in those caves because it's not forest or anything. But she she controls the whole level. Okay, so like yeah. if violence were to happen inside the caves, she she wouldn't care. Uh, depends on what you learn in there. Like, I don't know. I think there was some something in there that you wanted to take care of. But, okay. I mean, if you go in there and start murdering, like, birds or something, uh, yeah, she would care. But what? No, that's not what I meant at all. Yeah, no. Okay. I understand. Okay. So the whole, so we would have to, if, if, if something were chasing us and we had yeah. to defend ourselves, we would have to run all the way well, to another. We would have Willow help you. Right, right, but I'm saying if, like, if... Yeah, if, and I could help, too. Okay, all right. Yeah. Otherwise, we should run to the next Yeah, level. just run. You know, you, you can never be sure, you know, like, if one of the bears gets pissed and attacks you, you better just run. Sometimes they, they get temperamental. Hey, well, would you be uh, willing to help us kill a Tarrasque? One level up? A fucking what? A Tarrasque. <laughs> An Aboleth? Abolo, sorry. <laughs> a Where did I get that from? Tarras. <laughs> Holy shit! Right. Abolo, like, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> there's, a, there's a there's an Abolo uh, a level above that doesn't like us. And it's a very evil creature, and we're, we're yeah. worried that its sinister ways make 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 its way down to this level. We don't take oh, care that's of it. Right, I forgot about that. Okay. So you can. I mean, I think you'd be doing a good. Good deed if you help us take out this thing. Cool. Bring it on down. He's not going to come to you, friend. Oh. Well, I'm not going to it. I don't protect level whatever that is. I protect this level. Okay. Um... Okay. Pistol let you cast fly? What was what's that? No, I offered it to the group to see if they want to get out of here or continue here. Oh, okay. But yeah, I'm going to start taking a couple of support spell on her because she sucks at damage. (laughs) (laughs) 
or my stats are low. It's crazy. That hurts. But you guys do you have control spells? Not much. Mm -hmm. Divination doesn't matter much. Do long rest time, guys? Do you have haste? Yep. Yeah, haste is good. I haven't had the opportunity to cast it in a few more. Right. Okay. One more uh, level and you'll get that uh, the AoE mind blast run thing, right? Don't, don't get surprised if you get enlarged one day. <laughs> nice. Ooh. That's a good one. Now we're talking. Yeah. Ooh la la. Wait a minute. So you can <laughs> enlarge or reduce then, right? Yep. Oh, yeah. If you re can't you reduce the sword? I don't know. Then false, then false Actually, a creature the or something? You cause a creature or an object. I can do both. To grow larger or smaller. Yep. So if it got smaller, it would be able to come out quicker. Easier. I guess. Toothpick. Yeah. Ah, uh, the target yeah. size. Oh, you know what? Hold on. There we go. We can all read together. The last paragraph is the target size. Half. One eight. I don't know if it would work. So, it's sentience. Is it a creature or an object? Yeah, I don't know. The sword, even though it's sentient, is an object. Yeah, but so the spell does a, a creature yeah. or object. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, yeah, I guess it would make a constitution saving throw. As a sentient sword, yes, it would. I can try. It but do we want do. to? Because we're, yeah, we're picking a it. fight with the druid if we do that. Yeah, no, no. Huh? I, I was trying to get the sword. <laughs> <laughs> and I definitely don't want to do it right now. Spoken like a druid. <laughs> <laughs> I find money. <laughs> yeah. Fabric's just in the background. Do it. Do it. Shut up, do Fabric. It. <laughs> do it. You can do it! Dragon's like, do what? <laughs> what are you talking about? What are you guys talking about down there, guys? Oh, he wants to take a rest here. He says we're safe. We don't believe him. Anything attacks you, it's going to get killed by Willow. Yeah. Do it. Alright, I'm going to... I mean, do fine, I'm going to go nestle right underneath here? the we tree can, and... We could always like, yeah, camp out have... in this corner and then we have our backs to a wall. Ah! Oh, that's good. What? Fabric says. What are you crying about? That was my spot underneath the tree. Yeah. All right, fine. We can go up here too. Over here. I will not. Yeah, that's a big old like mound of dirt and stuff right there to your right. Oh, okay. That. Nice. You could you could go in there. Yeah. I was just saying. Oh. Okay. Protected. It's protected there on that side. Oh yeah, we. It's got like uh. We can't see through it. That's yeah, it's it's a huge like stalagmite. That'd be a good spot too. Okay. Do we? So do we want to go across, or do we want to do just a long rest and then go? Well, it's three spell slot for the fly thing, so I'd like to do a long rest after if we're gonna go across. Well, we can walk across, can't we? Just walk across the bridge. Yeah. yeah. So you would have to go to the south, to the where the stairs are, and then go in. That takes We're us good. down to the next. Well, not go in. Sorry, not go in. If you go in, it might be problems because uh, there's a door there. Oh, uh, but if you walk across, you can then walk across the bridge. It's it, it's kind of screwy here yeah. with the map. So right. Okay. He said, he free, said, access, free access to the bridge. So yeah. So he said we could walk across. So do we want to just walk across? 
we can. The only thing that I can think of. Just, oh, yeah. we're 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 so close to getting the next level. You're thinking walk across, find something to do, and then and then do a long rest. Is that the idea? Uh, maybe. I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. I'm just yeah. You know. Like we're, uh, we're, we're, I just shot. Yeah, yeah. Like we walk across. We can do long rest first. Yeah. Or not. Yeah. All right. Are we, are we taking a long rest first and then? Crossing the bridge to see what's over there. We're safe here. Is it just the way down, or is there something else over there? I don't know. How far can I go and take a look? You can go as far as you want. I want to still be quite high in case something comes up. Water, right? Yeah, so you once said 30, bridge... 40 feet? Yeah, so I don't know what you can see here. I don't hang on. One, there's wait a, a second. Let me let me see what you I can't see much because it's in the doors closed. Okay. Yeah. So uh, it, there's a cave. It leads into a cave. Oh, okay. And the cave is like ten feet high, like most other caves around here. Plus the light. Now it's open. There we go. Okay. Yeah. So it's about oh, ten it's feet good. high through there. Oops. Three-dimensional playing here. Yeah. You guys, what do you want to do? Let's go take them. Okay. So it's not. So it's long not rest where it's safe, and then we decide if we go on or kill <laughs> dragon and a narc. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, so you guys are going to take a long rest. Yeah. Are they all cozy and hunkered down? Yeah, so the dragon... Uh, okay, so I'm going to go right top. here, and I'm going to cast this. Hey. <laughs> and like a snob, I'm going to walk in. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, they, they're underneath the tree here, these guys. Fabric and stuff. I'm telling the guys to come in. Everybody. There's uh yeah. Except a dragon. Oh, I can come in, Fabric says. Oh sorry, there's no room. You got money? Uh hmm. dude. What? I uh, think we should let them in, we might learn a thing or two. No we won't. Maybe. Maybe one of them talks in their sleep. Here goes. No, we won't. Hey, then look at them as target practice. I'd loot them in the middle of the night. Their robes are pretty raggedy. Do they smell? Uh, you know, they try to keep clean. I mean, they're... So they smell? I mean, a little bit. I mean, their robes look like they've seen better days. Um, so you guys could you, you could can trip them nicer smells and nicer ropes, couldn't he? Like Prestidigation and mending, we could be nice. That's true. Good. Uh, the only one I have is mending. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> nope, no cleaning for them. Yep. Okay. All right, All right everybody. Uh, if you guys can do a long rest. Go ahead and mark off a ration. Oh, yeah. Uh, and I will give you all a long rest. There's nothing attacks or anything else. And let me... Sure. Okay, it is the 12th of uh, Uptar. 6 a.m. So as 6 a.m. hits, bam! Instantly becomes daylight again. <laughs> Oof. There's like no transition, like sunset or anything. It is just yeah, bam, yeah, night. Rude away um, what you do see, though, is a little odd. Is that you see like a wave of clouds coming from the uh, west coming towards the east. Oh, really? Um, 
in one hour. Uh, you get one hour. hour. I check off the. Okay. And then we'll get another seven, so it's eight hours. Okay. Here's the two dice an eight and a ten. Um, and you can uh, even see from these clouds, it's kind of like a fine rain that, you know, it takes like 10 minutes to get across the whole entire cavern. And it's just a nice, gentle rain. Uh, the, the sun is kind of covered by these clouds, but it's still bright, uh, obviously. It's not like thunderstorms or anything like that. It's just a nice, gentle rain. Hmm. That's kind of nice. Still warm? Yes. Nice summer. Gentle rain. All right. Uh, Fabric and Maddie wake up. Uh, they piss on your. Uh... No, I'm just totally kidding. Um, they're. They're kind of looking around, and they they come over to Tyrule. Oh, Tyrule! You know they start like praying to, well, not Tyrule, but they start praying to Valdemar. What do you guys want to do? Do we want to check out the whereabouts? There's also a cave with an Umber Hulk. We could use Umber Hulk blood. Oh, yeah. Where's that? Uh, let's see. Where is that? Uh, the tunnel to the southwest that leads down. And that's where the Umber Hulk. Sinks. And are we, we're allowed to take care of that? Is, that? is it technically on this level or different one? I'm not sure. I, be, I believe it's... I'm hoping that the Ember Hulk is down on like either the next floor, or I'm thinking that southwest is maybe to floor six, and then this bridge might be all the way down to floor seven. Maybe she did say there was a path to both. Not sure. Or, or right, we can go talk to what's her face today now. Yeah, let's go. Let's do that, and then we'll walk across the, the bridge. Oh, yeah. oh, that way, that way, we at least get some might get some information about the shadows. That kind of is the ultimate goal, anyway. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so you're gonna walk back to her tower. I'm not gonna. Uh, yeah. Bend no. you back and forth. No, unless, yeah. You know, unless something else happens. Um, as you get uh, close to the tower, um, you you feel like you're being watched. Of course. Uh, there's, no there's no perception check or anything like that, but it's it's more than usual here. There it is. Uh, as you get close to the tower. Yep. Um. You don't see anything. You know, you're at, you know, you're adventurers. You're kind of on alert, looking around. You don't really see anything out of the ordinary. You see the giant bats hanging from the tower and all that stuff still, uh, but it. It's not like coming from there. It's just this weird sixth sense that adventurers have. Um, you get to the tower. Are you going to pull on the rope? We do. Okay. Uh, you do, and the door opens, and um, uh, Hollis Tree answers. Oh, hello. Come on in. Come on in, guys. Hopefully everything went good last night. You guys got a good rest in. We did. Good, 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 good. Awesome. Sorry about that little nasty business that Willow had to take care of. It's, those are the rules, you know. It, you know, it kind of sucks, but it is what it is. You got to watch where you put your big old feet at. Uh, so you get ushered in. Um, you see Willow. She's kind of carving like a figurine it's in the early stages so you can't really see anything Drew's sitting there it looks like he's throwing bones uh kind of by himself uh and then chris Ann's at her feet uh she looks up uh she says uh oh you're back 
Um, how long did you plan on staying? Uh, we're not sure. We're kind of just Hello? passing through, but... Okay. Yeah. Do you want us to stay or do you want us to go? Nah, you guys could leave at any time. That'd be great. Uh, there really isn't anything else for you to do here. Um, so, I, I offered some, or promised some information. Um, here, here it is. To get down to level six, um, it is called the Lost Level. Um, the reason why it was called the Lost Level is until recently, um, there was no path to get to it. You would have to take a portal. Um, we had a group of dwarves come through here, uh, Dwergar actually, not too long ago, and went down to that level. Uh, the way to get to it is the uh, tunnel to the southwest in Umber Hulk. Um, must have came up from that level, uh, dug a path all the way to this level. Uh, we had to kill it, as it's not part of the natural order here, and wanted to kill uh, an elk. Um, so that's how you get to level six. The lost oh, level. So there's no Umber Hulk anymore? No, we killed it. It's long gone. This was probably but, two or three months ago. I'll whisper but, to the party to remind them that uh, Lakana asked us to retrieve that dagger that was stole from Azrock from the lost level. A thousand gold pieces. Didn't we do that? I think we did that, and all she gave us was a favor. Nope. No. Nope. nope. Yeah, Clan, Clan Iron Eye stole a dagger oh, from Azrock. Oh, that's right, from the clan. That's right. Yeah, from Lord Azrock. Yeah, uh, Lurkana asked us to retrieve it, a thousand gold pieces in a locked chest, along, right. along with the key. And she said it's on the lost level. That's all the, all we had. So now we know the lost level is level six. Nice. Uh, the way to get to um, level seven is... Yeah. Uh, pin that's no longer there, it looks like. Uh, that's weird. That pin is completely gone. Alright. Well, let's see here. Uh, give me a second, guys. Uh, why is there... We'd also... We'd also ask what's on the other side of the bridge. Yeah, the dragon. Yeah, hang on. Uh, uh give me a second. Uh, I don't know what happened to the pin. I might have accidentally deleted it or something. So, um, let me look. Let me look at the book real quick. Um, and let's see here. Okay. Here we go. Uh, well, uh, she says you go across the bridge, uh, and if you head north along the caves, uh, it'll take you down to level seven. Um, that was really the only, you know, way to get down there. Um, I, I'm sure you could get there from level six. Level seven is, um, well, I haven't been down there in a while, but, uh, it was called Mad Goth's Castle, and I will put that in the chat. That was level seven. Um, there was a 
powerful wizard down there. I, I don't know if he's still there. But that's that's that level. Uh, him. I don't know. I, I don't know if him and Hellister got along. I don't know. I don't know anything about him. Okay. So there's that. Um, the the portals. So you know the one portal. I don't need to explain that. Um, the second portal is actually in the uh, stone building where the dragon is. So there's an arch gate there. Um. And level. it leads to level six. Hmm. Interesting. And the way to um, activate it is you imitate the dancing dwarves oh. on the arch stone. Can you um, tell your dragon friend that we have your permission to use that building? Uh, that's his building. You have to get his permission. Oh, well, he wasn't very forthcoming. Oh, well, sorry to hear that. Uh, there's nothing I can do for you there. Okay, uh, and then the third um, arch gate on this level is actually in this tower. Uh, it's on the top floor. Uh, I don't use it. Uh, but uh, it leads to level three. And um, to activate it, um, you have to tap the arch three times with a staff of any kind, and it causes the gate to open. Would you would you allow us to use that portal if we wanted to? Yeah, I could. Uh, I can um, take you there. Okay. Um, so that's that's three um, arch uh, arches and or gates, if you will, and the two ways to get to the next six level six and seven. I also promised you some information on the sh shadow thing or whatever is going on yes. um as much as you can tell us I yeah understand. so this dungeon is completely and utterly infected by drow uh and that's on multiple multiple levels i'm sure you've already faced some we have um as I know they were on the levels above mine, they are definitely on levels below us. Um, there are two warring factions, and they are heavily involved with Loth. So, I don't know if she has some sort of influence over these shadows. Um... That's one theory. Another theory is uh, somewhere in this dungeon there are followers of Shar. And as we know, she has um, she has connections as, as being an evil goddess with the shadow fell. I don't know if Hellister is working with anything here. Uh, he's been up to some weird stuff uh, as well lately. Uh, he, he comes around every now and then here. But I don't know if he's made a pact with maybe Shar or Loth. Um, I th so those are those are two theories of what's going on with these shadows. Have, have you seen any shadows here in your realm? Uh, strangely, no. I have not. Okay. Thank you. 
I updated our portal notes too. Oh, sweet. Thank you. Now those if we might be... were to... We Go were ahead. to find shadows... If we were to find shadows on in your area here, you, you would give us your blessing to engage them and defend ourselves? They are undead, yes. Okay. They are not part of the natural order. All right, so we uh, gonna go to level six, guys. Yeah, uh, sure. Why not? I mean, I don't know what's down there, but what the heck? Yeah. Do we have um? Do we want to try to do something about the werebats? Do we talk to them, like you suggest, maybe? Right? Are they are they in the same caves as the the way down, or are they in different caves? Now they're in the former ruins of. Um... Hang on. Let's see here. I think it gives me something. So there's former ruins where there was a cult that lived here long, long ago. Uh, when I first came to this level. Uh, me and Yenark uh, took them out. Uh, they were the cult of Malar. Roll me religion. Cult of Malar. That ought to be great. Yeah, me too. Guess I could get lucky. I think that's the fire best chats, right? None of you know what the Malar is. <laughs> Sounds like what comes out of a cow. <laughs> Malar. Uh, yeah, so, um, it's not something, you guys, that's not something you're familiar with, um, but there's a bunch of buildings down there, uh, that are pretty much emptied, and, uh, that's, the, the werebats really don't go in the buildings, there's caves off to the side, that's kind of where they hang out, they sometimes come out at night and get the vermin and stuff. Do we want to check them out? Do we want to just skip? You, you can talk to six? them. It's fine if you talk to them. I have no problem with you talking with anything on this level. Just do not harm them, please. Right. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. I don't have any more questions. Yeah, me either. I don't think. What about the little boat? What? There's a little boat on the other side of the river that flows through here. Uh, uh, yeah, I don't... Well, I don't know of any boat. No? No, it's not something that I care about. I mean, it's... Not sentient or anything. Like if you want to use the boat, use the boat. I don't know. Okay. I don't know who might have used the boat or where it's there. Uh, uh, it probably came from level four. I don't know. Uh, is that how the All right. cults, cultists got down here? I don't know. I don't know how the hell they got down here. It must have took something to get down here, but I'm sure somebody took the boat from level four because that's usually the most... Direct way to get down here instead of a portal. The water. Well, does the yeah. water go to level six? No, it goes towards the underdark. Oh, that's not good. No. I mean, if you want to go down in the underdark and can't start a new it. adventure, you can. <laughs> yeah, not really. <laughs> but God. there's lots of drow down there. Uh, Takes you straight to Metas of Baranzin or whatever. Yeah, no, thank you. <laughs> I'll pass. I can't even see okay. in the dark. All right. Um. Okay. Well. 
So there might be Shadowfell priests or cultists or something, followers of Shar. Uh, might be the drow causing the shadows. Did we have some reason to f believe right. that the shadow problem is on level 5 or up? Or was that something else? Like, a, like, a, like, no, no. I don't think. I mean, no, because we've already cleared most most of one through four. So unless the abolith is the reason, well, then well, you know what I mean. Yeah. I mean, the drow were trying to take over the lower levels, maybe to help. I don't know. I don't know why. They're probably just doing it to take it over, but maybe, you know, I have a feeling it's further down. Isn't there, um, no, we already did the other girl, the other queen. Well, what about, didn't they say they were like their mother or something like that too? The, the two sisters? Huh? The, the drow priestesses. Oh, that's right. Yeah, they were daughters of the house or whatever so the, the right. mother would be the the matron or whatever right right so that's what i'm thinking but well, we don't know what level she's on obviously but or if that's even a thing yeah. i mean she they did say that they were the daughters so i i was thinking there was a mother somewhere gotcha yeah and we've got what's her what's their face right the <laughs> The, and we're in good graces with her six. since we cleared her lineage, you know, so. <laughs> <laughs> right. Huh. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know. Do we want to try to do something about the werebats while we're still here? Do we want to head right to six and look for that? What was it? The, the dagger? Do we want to try to do something about uh, Droop? I mean, he said, he said he wanted to leave, right, and head back up, but he wanted to go with us. And Willow. Do we want to indicate that we're going to go Willow. up and see whether or not Droop wants to go? But well, then we can take the portal in, um, in the building, in the center of the map. That'll take us back to two. And or we can ask Willow to use the portal here to take us to level three. That way we'll know where that comes out because we don't know. Right. I mean, we can guess. I, you know. I mean, do we have... Do you you have saw that portal. We did see that portal? Yep. Okay. It's in the caves. Near the Dragon's Maw or something like that? No, that was, that was, the, that was a different one. This one you saw was in the caves by the river to the south of the map. Kind of where you fought the drow that were hanging out on the other side of the river. Right. See, in that, like, ledge area. Yeah, it was, it was to the north of that, to the north side of the river. Oh, where the hags were? No, um, it's, um, yeah, you know where it is. So you... You know where it would connect. It would take you out close to the river and the layer, the the as rocks. Okay. Yeah, it's probably closer to the secret room that you got into with the dwarf. I guess that'd be. It's just south of that. Southwest. But you've seen that's like before, or heard of it's like. I don't think you guys knew how to activate it. We didn't, and I don't even remember. Obviously, we didn't know what was on it either. So she just told us how to activate it. Isn't yep. it the same way to activate on both sides? Didn't we? Yeah, for the most part, it is. Okay, what do we gotta do? Uh, oh, we gotta tap it. Wait, we gotta find a staff. We gotta tap it with a staff three times. No one has a quarter staff. I don't. I don't either. I wonder, I wonder if it would let me tap it with if I turn my stat if I turn my spear upside down and held it like a staff. Probably not. Yeah, I don't know. So I mean, the goblins might have a staff on level two. 
I have a quarter staff. Do you? Okay. okay, there we go. We it's a hundred gold. <laughs> it's what? It's, it's a hundred gold. That's cool. It's a hundred gold. Yeah, offering demand, right? Well, what? It's your party. We're gonna ask for money to, for, to cast spells or something. Right. Yeah. yeah, you want to copy that spell? You're gonna give us money, and then we'll give it to you back. <laughs> So yeah, do we want to offer the droop go, go back on up to level three then? We can use the the one in Will, Willow's tower here if she said we were allowed to. She didn't really say that, but she are said are she had. Heading, she are, we, are we heading back up? Or are we just no, no. I that's not. Real, but I mean that that's a way to get droop out of here. That's true, and and we could also. I mean, if we could escort Droop up and on the way, we could kill an Aboleth. Did Droop say he would or would not participate? He didn't that? say. He did not say. Right. He probably will. I mean, he could kill an Aboleth. I mean, he's killed a dragon. He can check that off his bucket list. I'm okay with that. Or we can head to level six. We know there's a knife we're looking for down there. There we could oh, find right. an Umber Hulk down there. That's apparently where they come from. Possibly. We could go make fun of some werebats until they follow us to another level where we can kill them and then see what <laughs> did Vale promise us something for that or just do it. Yeah, I don't think they're gonna leave here. Uh, I don't think she promised you really anything. She asked for a favor. That's what I had to. Just okay. She wanted okay. wanted us to do it. I see. Yeah. I think we should at least talk to them and just kind of like, understand the situation. Maybe yeah. like you like someone said, maybe they want to leave and they just need some incentive. Yeah, maybe. It's kind of an un, it's the only real unfinished business on this level, right? I mean, unless we yeah. really want to fight Willow and or the Dragon, there's really not much we can do. Right. But we did have the Werebats kind of unfinished business. Yeah, I think so. And if they say, no, we're happy here, and it becomes obvious that we'd have to use violence to get them to leave, then, again, we have to make a choice. Yeah. Yeah, if we, you know, if we end up stealing the sword or fighting the dragon or killing Willow, then maybe we can, then, then we can go take care of the werebats for Vale. Um, if you are going to speak to the werebats... Uh, know that their leader, his name... I forget what you're in there. Uh, Mobar. Mobar. Yeah, here. Um, he, uh, he's their leader, and Willow <laughs> says he's kind of got a thing for me. <laughs> of course he does. He leaves me gifts. Um, not every day, but That's sweet. all the time. Is that why you tolerate his filth? Uh, I tolerate his filth, halfling, due to he serves a purpose <clears throat> as part of the ecosystem here. Him and his goblin werebat friends. I, I tolerate your I'm... filth here as you're filthying my dungeon. So, But I'm not an unnatural evil creature that spreads disease. Uh, he does not spread his disease? Well, there's more than one werebat, so someone spread something. Well, they haven't gotten any more numbers since they've been here. I keep a close eye on them. Wasn't, wasn't there one that broke your rules and got away? Yeah, well, he, he'll get his eventually. He'll slip up. He's, he's kind of slippery, but I don't know where he's hiding. Uh, but once I find out, um, he'll, that'll be the end of him. 
How many uh, whereabouts to live in this level, do you think? Seeing you're keeping count of them all. How many are oh. there? Um, that's a good question. Um, so, uh, there's one... There's that one guy. Uh, there's those, those three. And then there's another three. And then... There's, uh... There's probably another three. Uh, and if you keep going, I don't know. Uh, 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 okay. I don't know. There's probably like 30. That's a lot. Yeah. It's disgusting yeah. creatures. One could say the same for halflings. Really? I don't know about that. I mean, humans can be pretty disgusting. Well, sure. That's true. I'll give you. I'll give you. I'll give you that one. Yeah. Hey. El elves too. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. I, All yeah. races can be cruel. Can be cruel. So, I, I, I've only got one concern. You said that the shadows. With them being undead, they weren't natural, and we could kill them. But the unnatural, undead werebats are—they're not they're undead. Not undead. They're like canthropic. Is that it? They are not undead. They—they they serve a purpose as the ecosystem of this level. They take care of the vermin, the rats, and things like that. Oh, I thought they were undead. No, they're not undead. They are. Well, they are decidedly. They're evil, though, are they not? Uh, do they? They don't attack anything on this level. Yeah, but she probably doesn't care about uh, whether they're evil or good. Right. To, yeah. As long as you don't harm anything. As long as they don't hurt anything, I don't care what you do. And Mobar follows my orders, and him and he leads the clan. Okay. They're allowed to kill like rats and mice and. Yeah. Oh. You'd be surprised how many rats are in this level. I don't know why. They're everywhere. Yeah. Abolith is probably sending them down here. Yeah, they're probably running from that thing. Yeah. Yeah. Why don't you guys go kill that? Well, I mean, we 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 could. We might we might need Droop's help to do that, though. Oh, uh, I don't I don't think you need Droop's help. He's he's just fine where he is. Yeah, I'm sure he is. Um, maybe I could help. Droop, you don't want to leave, do you? I mean, um, I mean we can come back. I I was just saying, with Droop's help. I mean, he's already defeated yeah. an abolith. Uh, where are you going? Simple. Up. Up. Oh, yeah? Uh, Fatso was looking for me, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, maybe, maybe I'll go with you. Well, we're going to um, we're gonna go talk to the whereabouts right now. Do you, you want to come along for the... I, I don't... I don't think Droop should go along with you. I think no, no, no just to talk to the whereabouts. I'm, I'm no, I, I, I'm pretty sure Droop needs to stay here. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm gonna look at Droop and give him like the yeah. eyebrows, like okay. We we heard about the activities that you like to engage in here, which is uh, kind of embarrass your dragon friend. What are you talking about, halfling? <laughs> Oh, nothing. It's just you know we we don't want to get in the way of any romance you might have with with Droop here. So we get we get it. Romance. You know, we're all adu we're all adults here. We know you might have. She's an attractive Romance. goblin. It's, you know you don't want to you don't Romance. want him to leave. I mean it's not, it's, it's, it's clear. Isn't that why you don't want him to leave? What? That's fine. So okay, it's all good. You know we can tell you want him to stay. It's it's, it's okay. No no big deal. Droop is a unbelievable protector of this level. 
I'm sure he's good at protecting lots of sorts of things. And you to to say that I am taking advantage of him romantically. Well, I'm not saying he's not a willing no, participant. I think he's taking it. Just you know, yeah. I think you're sick. Oh, and oh, that there's always that possibility. Perhaps you should leave now before you continue to say something that will continue to get you in trouble. Well, Droop I stays here. No offense. Right, Droop. Um, kind of would like to maybe get out and see the sun a little bit. Um, and go on an adventure. Droop, I think you'll stay here. You can leave now, all of you. Well, hold on. I, I don't think it, if if Droop wants to come with us, and you're not, it's not very uh, hospitable of you to. Is he a prisoner? Droop, are you a prisoner? Um, he's like kind of like looking side eye at Willow. Um. You know, I, I don't think this is a good idea. Uh, and you see Willow, she sits up. And as she sits up, you see the cat. The displacer beast kind of like raised up. And she says, Droop will stay here. And you will leave. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Of course. That sounds good. So, uh, yeah, we'll uh, we'll check in with the old wear. Hollis Tree, show them out. Okay, bye. Uh, and Hollis Tree, he kind of is like, sorry, guys. Ah, <laughs> uh, you know, sorry. And he's like, kind of like taking his tree branches and like ushering you guys out and like pushing you very gently towards the door <laughs> he's I... not like trying to be harmful or anything like that he's just like oh I'm god like, come I'm on like think in my mind to Perrin real quick can you talk to Droop in his head tell him to meet us at the werebats if he can yeah, sneak away I, do. I, I will I will quickly tell Droop if word. you can sneak away meet us at the werebat location okay as we're ushered out and Okay. Sorry, guys. Is there a way... Is there a way I can... Actually, no, he can do it himself. Never mind. I would know... I would know that Droop can cast Pass without trace on himself if he wants to get really stealthy. Correct. I don't need Potentially. To, I don't need you to don't know if he has that. that spell. That's true. Well, that's true. Is there, an, is there an opportunity on... As we're getting escorted out for me to... Cast it on Droop? Uh, he can't really reply. Right? Because he doesn't... It's only a one-way thing. No, I mean, like, opportunity to not be noticed. Oh, she's... No, she's watching like a hawk, right? She's watching okay. you. Yeah, all right. Okay, uh, you I'm got not gonna the cat there. Then. Yeah, you got the cat there. Uh, the displacer beast. Uh, even right, Hollister, I give her... I give her... Being, being gentle, but... Yeah, she gets my nicest smile on the way out. Oh, sorry, guys. Oh, I didn't even give you guys any tea. I'm so sorry. Maybe next time. Don't come back for a couple days. <laughs> Closes the door. <laughs> okay, buddy. <laughs> so, uh, and uh, I'm going to take your tokens real quick and put you outside the door. <laughs> uh, and it just kind of, like, closes very gently. You know, like, oh, sorry, man. I, I don't... You know, I'm not going to slam the door in your face or anything, but... Alright. So, uh... Okay. So you guys get ushered out, the door closes, uh... And... Griff... Uh, as you kind of like, alright, you, you know, kind of like, alright, well, what was that all about, you know? She seemed okay and everything, all of that. All of a sudden, an arc of lightning comes at your face. What? And oh, a will o' the wisp shit. appears. Yeah, I wondered when we were going to see him. And uh, he gets a surprise attack as he was invisible. 
Uh, so... Wait, what? What's this? This is the Will O Wisp that we pissed off by taking the wand, and then we were supposed to go attack the druid, and we didn't. So go ahead, and everybody can roll for initiative so, here. Now we gotta uh, kill this guy every well, day. No, we're not oh, allowed. Oh, we're Jesus. not. We're not allowed to kill him. Yes, we are. We're al- yeah, well. We're allowed to kill him because he doesn't actually die. He's just gonna like deactivate, and then he'll wake uh, up in twenty four uh, hours and plus, come find. Plus, him he's now. undead. Yes, he's undead. Yeah. So I mean, did I, he not know that we did our best to? I tried to go to him to a fight. It didn't work. <laughs> yeah. No. He, yeah. He. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, so he'll get a surprise round. He's um, getting two turns. And he gets this with advantage because he was invisible, Griff. Yep. Uh, as an arc of lightning comes directly at your face. Right in the face. Ow. And he missed. Oh, that's nice. Um, and... Um, so that was the surprise round. He gets to go again. Yep. <laughs> I figured. And boop. he turns invisible. Uh, Griff and Pistolette, please take off dark vision. I think you might still have that on. Because yep, that did. spell has ended. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Okay. Uh, so that's his turn. Uh, let me see. Okay. Yep. So. And Griff. All right. Um. Well, I don't think I don't think I heard him fly away. So. He he doesn't really make any noise. Hmm. Don't really make noise. They just. Alright. Alright. I mean, there might be a little bit. But you heard it kind of buzzing. I guess it would be a way. Okay. Not enough for me to, like, take a swat as him. him No, you gotta see. For a reaction attack, you gotta see the target. Then. I will. I don't know what to do. I'm gonna cast armor of Agathis on myself. So I'm gonna summon a armor of like frozen water all over. Yep. Oh, do do boop. And then I guess I'm just going to step forward and kind of brandish my spear and I guess get ready to do something else. I don't know. I'll have to see him next time. That's all I got. Okay. All right. Later. All right. Uh, I'm going to be... It's a bonus action. No, it's an action. Um, I'm going to move 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, there, I'm trying to get myself in the square, sorry about that, um, right, right. already in action, if I see it, I'm going to hurl a psychic blade, if it comes at me, you know, you know, so I'm, I'm looking in this general direction. So okay, I okay. guess the three squares that way, you know, that kind of thing. So. Okay. Just a lot. You're muted. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Yeah. So, it hit Griff, and then it went invisible. Yeah, it had two turns and only hit him once, though. 
so it probably used its action to turn invisible. Well, I can cast Fairy Fire. Okay. Everybody be on the way, though. We sus I guess we suspect he's around here somewhere. Last we saw him. Well, well, Griff and I both walked through those areas. He, so, he, he's tiny. tiny. Oh, okay. So he's tiny. He's just a little ball of light. Yeah, so he could actually be above us too. That's the problem. Up where you're at. No, it's a 20 foot cube. Yeah, it's not a bad idea to put it above us, though. What's that? 20 foot by 20 foot length, width, height, and it's height. Yeah. Okay. So, what you're doing? Yeah. Target your three party members only. Uh, if it's above them, they shouldn't be targeted. Oh, okay. So you're doing it above them? Yeah. Okay. Uh, go ahead and mark off the spell slot. It does not, there's nothing there. Okay. Okay. Anything else, Pistolette? Moving? Yeah, I'm going to go back here. Okay. Um, one thing I'll say, not Pistolette, but Lear... Uh, okay, you can't see anything. You guys haven't really looked. There's some caves here to the south. You haven't really looked at them yet. But, but. No. No. Okay. Cool. I'm at, the, I'm at the mouth of one, but not looking. I'm looking the yeah. other way. So. Yeah. Perrin, you're up. So it appeared, attacked Griff, missed, and then disappeared? Correct. Okay. Do we have any like knowledge or history of, of, of the tactic? Like, do we, is it gone invisible? Is it. Yes. Like, you, you know, these things okay. turn invisible. You fought them before. So uh, it. Uh, it does take an action. You know that it, it, it can't like turn invisible and a, attack in the same round, right? It has to turn invisible and then it'll attack next round or, you know, within six seconds. Okay, so it's the whole surprise thing that got us. Yeah. Um, I can't really do anything except for uh, I will have a ready action of... Uh, I can't. I don't get any fancy umbral attacks or anything like that. So I'll have a ready action to use my axe if it appears. Actually, no. I will use a crossbow. Okay. So I will. I will use the crossbow if I see it appear and attack a colleague. Boomski. Ready action. Okay. Uh. All right. So. Um. Let's go. Retcon myself to there. <laughs> I'm not gonna move. That's fine. Okay. Uh, so, uh, Lear. Okay. You get a shot of lightning from the south. Okay. Um, so it was invisible, it attacked, so it, it, usually you get your reaction first, but this one, since it was invisible and it was attacking, he gets his attack. Uh, so he'll have advantage on you, uh, and it looks like he's going to miss. Okay. Okay, uh, you can do reactions. All right. Oh, hold on. Why do I have a... Uh, uh, 
What you got? got? Uh, what do you got on you here? I don't know. Disadvantage for some reason. Yeah, Is why do you have disadvantage? Something on it, most likely. Mm. That's weird. What does it say here? Disadvantage range at five. Oh, because you did a ranged attack. Oh, it's right okay. next. To you. Yeah. Yeah. So it's not a range. Sorry. Yeah, that's fine. Go ahead and reroll. That is a hit. That's some damage. All right. Uh, Parent. Yes, I will get my single pew in, right? Yep. One little Ooh. pew. That's a miss. Oh, 17 is a miss. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm sorry. Griff, I don't think you had any no. hell of action. No. Okay. Uh, but it is your turn as um, he's he's kind of buzzing right next oh. to Lair there. All right. Oh, yeah. Sorry, for the record, he, he could see me, right? Obviously. Daylight? Yeah, it's, it's yeah. daylight. Yeah, it's sun's shining and everything out. So. Where was I? 5, 10, 15, 20, 20, 30. There we go. Sorry, friend. You should have killed the bitch. And we still might. You're just a little too impatient. Fuck heads. That's a hit. That's damage. Oh, this guy undead. Damn, he had a... Yeah. Mm. No, it's not. That's a mess, right? 13? Yeah. Yeah, that's a mess. I like him with the spear. That's a hit. How beefy is he? Alright. Uh, yeah, he's, he's taken... He's partially resisted these attacks. Oh, okay. So. Alright. All right, Lair. I am going to attack with some advantage here. Yeah. Oh. Ah, uh, you're doing range. It said. I, I. Yeah, you didn't have that extension on before, and. Yeah. Oh, sorry. It's a new one. That's okay. Uh, I didn't know it did that. So. So good. I apologize. <laughs> That's a hit. All right. So then he'll get. Yeah. This you know. and this. As it just disappears and screams out uh, at uh, and it, sorry, buddy. See you tomorrow. Right. Pew 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 pew. And you're out of uh, combat. And free XP. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, couple yeah. Of, uh, XP days. for that, huh? You want <laughs> XP for that, huh? I'll see how you are. No, I'm just, I'm just joking. Wait, uh, <laughs> hey, yeah. Uh, you get XP for that. All two? More than you three? think it is, actually. Oh, really? 1,000 no. each, right? <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> actually kind of close. <laughs> Little of the wisp ain't nothing to write home about. I mean, you know, you get a bunch of these things, they can fuck you up. Oh, uh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. Uh, although, at level... Guys, at level eight, I don't know if it does a whole lot of level eight. You have to get quite a few of them. But um, all right, hang on. Let me give you your uh, parent. I or Mike, um, I gave you experience for the cloakers. So I think if you look at your character sheet, you're only about nine hundred or so XP away. Well, it's going to be less than that now because you got yeah. well, the Yeah, no, I saw that. Thank you. One hundred and fifty. There you go. You got 113. Griff, you only got 111 out of that. What? You're the you're the one who gets the short end of the stick every time. I don't know why. How's that? Ah, uh, because it's only is it, is it, it's like 450, right? And there's yeah, no way to divide. The kids oh, okay. perfectly divide. So it why just, why why Griff though? Is it because he is he because he's multi class mm -hmm. or something, or is there a reason? Um, I think it's just where he is on uh, the on the. I don't know why. Combat Honestly, tracker? I don't know. I'm just curious. Like I, over over time, I mean, that could screw someone if it's the same person over. Yeah, I won't. I, I won't allow it. You know, I'll. Everybody will. 
You know, you can jump, put two XP on it. Yeah, that's... You know, I'm not gonna as long, as, long as they don't all level up and I'm like, hey, I need 14. Experience. Yeah, that's, yeah, no, 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 I'm not gonna do that to you. That's, that's, that's right, right before a huge battle. I would expect you not to, like, be like, dude, fuck this guy. Dude. <laughs> yeah, that's bullshit. I'm yeah, that's free bullshit. away. What up? <laughs> yeah. Exactly. yeah. Everybody else is leveled up and you're like, oh, I gotta wait another long rest. He kills, um, he, he kills a squirrel only to anger the, the elf drow, right. elf druid. Um, um, so, pistol. Hang on one second. Sorry, Mike. So, Pistolette, no, no, Aaron, you guys see these caves? Um, mm -hmm. you see that there are a shit ton of skeletal remains. What? Of the humans. Things, right? Humans. humans. Uh, uh, elves, dwarves, clad in rotting clothes. Uh, Ooh. And uh, of rotting clothes and furs. Do we see what's his face? She just killed. Uh, uh, Did she do take not? His oh no, they, she left it behind. Remember? Y you see some weird symbol on like some of them. Uh, you would know it's a religious symbol. Oh, cultus? Shar maybe. Um, roll me another religion. Check. It's not gonna be good, but... Do, do, do. Come on, dice gods. Okay. So, Pistolet and Lear, you don't know of the god... But you know his symbol. Oh, it's is that Malar that we didn't know earlier? <laughs> it is the symbol of Malar. Mm, that's, mm. A, that's the one we failed before. These corpses don't look to be 200 years old. Right. So they were... <laughs> <laughs> Can we tell how they died? Uh, are you going to get up there marks? close to them? Oh, uh, I mean, do they have fang? Do they have yeah. fang marks on them? So as, um, a, as a rogue, I probably would go over and look to see whether or not they're all. I mean, is all their gear in there and all that? I mean, you know, I'm kind of greedy. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So go ahead if you get close up to them. Roll me a medicine check, and then that, that'll be funny. But that's okay. Yep. Yeah. So, Lear, um, you're like, man, I, I'm not quite sure how they died, but it did. It didn't seem like they died peacefully. Uh, you don't see a lot of. Um, I wasn't like wounds. the other. Wasn't like the other guy. I mean, we're thinking it's a spell or something like that. Yeah. yeah. So. Yeah, it, it doesn't look like they have a lot of marks on their body, like they were like clubbed or ripped apart or or anything like that. Um, but you don't know how they died. Uh, but they weren't. They them. weren't. They weren't burned up like the other guy, though. No, right? no, they weren't. Uh, and they don't look to have. Uh, I won't even have you roll perception. They just. They don't have really anything on them. Anybody who wants to examine the bodies can do a medicine check. Uh, to see if you know how they similar scene in similar scene in all the cave entrances here. I'm not very good at it, but I'll I'll check. Did I see any stab wounds? Hi, no, Griff. I didn't see any punctures. Yeah, so um, you're looking at them. Same with you, Perrin. Um, The um, uh, you, you guys are able to figure out Griff and Perrin are able to figure out that these things died of like poison, similar oh. to what a dragon can spew out of its mouth. 
Oh. Oh, so the dragon killed these guys probably mm -hmm. on Willow's orders or in conjunction with Will, right? And this is where they put the bodies? <laughs> That's what I'm wondering. Like the the god that you guys recognize is it a good god or a bad god? No idea. I we don't guys know. don't know. You already did the religion check. You know the symbol. They knew the symbol, but they don't know anything of the god. Is it we? If the dragon and the druid are in cahoots on slaughtering innocent people, then all of a sudden it kind of changes the whole story, doesn't it? Yeah, I would think so. But that may have been the old dragon, right? We don't know. Oh, these are fresh bodies, right? Uh, I, they've been there a while, but they haven't been there for 200 years, like Willow said that they were. Oh. So, she, so she's lied to us. Yeah, that's not a surprise. She lied to it. She lied to us about being Droop's lover. She lied to us about this. <laughs> 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 Yeah, there's definitely something going on that we don't know about. Mm -hmm. And uh, I still want to kind of could be normal. The whole love triangle, tryst, kill, what, kill. What kill was that? Thing. What was that, Alan? It could be normal. <laughs> Remember, if you're, if you're bands of adventure that go through these levels, at one point you get into a forest. You're kind of fed up with your rations. The first thing you do is you hunt. And then when you hunt and kill something, she comes out and she whoops your ass. Yep, throws your body in here. Or yep. she teleports or imprisons them there. And All right, and their souls become so The Then a T-Rally does the rest. One of the things you noticed about her was, when you first met her, was she looked kind of crazed. Yeah. She's a little bipolar. So, is this like a deeper cave, the one I'm standing over here? Yeah, so, uh, Perrin, as, as you're walking further south there, uh, that cave um, looks like it, it's not natural. Okay. Um, it looks like it was dug out, uh, and you see it slope ever so slightly downward. Oh, is that our umbrella? The other cave. So the other caves we've seen have all been full of like bad bodies and shit, right? And this is the first one to go down a little bit. There's no dead bodies. You don't see any dead bodies. It just keeps on sloping down. This is probably uh, I, I, I was, this is probably the Umberhoff one. Yeah. No signs that says uh, level said level seven this way. <laughs> there doesn't. <laughs> see I kind of think I've reached a dead end here, so. Yeah, so uh, I can tell you that it does continue on. It's just the way the map is. Ah. The river flows over this cave. Oh, oh so that's cool. why it's like a dead end. That's why I like it's a dead end. Uh, you can hear the the rushing, and you get some drips as you get right there, Perrin. You see some drips from the from the the ceiling. It's nothing like, oh my god, it's gonna fucking cave in on us but you can also kind of hear the rushing of water overhead a little bit uh this this tunnel uh goes underneath the river and it continues downwards yep so. and it continues downwards okay do i do you do we want to keep exploring it or do we want to go visit the whereabouts um, where are the wave bats again? Further south, southeast. Okay. Oh, and so that goes down. Okay. And that goes okay. down to level six, which is the lost level. <clears throat> oh. <laughs> this is kind of dead end ish here. Yeah. So that's a building right there, Perrin. You're seeing a big old long building there. Uh, you let me see okay. if there's any doors. Any door? Uh, there just doesn't this? seem to be doors. Okay, you get there, guys. All right. No, it's fine. And you see in the cave. Uh, 
three like uh were bats let's just say they're they're kind of in like a hybrid form right so they're like half goblin half bat uh and uh one kind of comes out he he's trying to avoid the the sunlight and he's like hey who the fuck hey. are you oh you mobar no I'm not fucking mobar do i look like mobar a little bit. Oh, my cat. Oh, where's Mobar? My cat hates where's that Mobar? Voice. My cat's going to attack me. He hates that voice. <laughs> Get him. <laughs> he's, he's looking at me like, dude, I am going to mess you up. That's hilarious. Where's Where's Mobar? You want to go speak to Mobar? Yeah. Yeah. We, yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Great. Cool. Can I go see Mobar, huh? Yeah. Right. Oh, I thought because we're rats, you'd c try to eat us or something. What? What the fuck you talking about, dumb elf? <coughs> now, now, we, we, we've already spoken to Willow. We know that there's no need for violence on her level, and you don't want to upset her, do you? <laughs> or you can follow us. Come on, yeah, we'll, go down yeah. the, we'll go down another level. Yeah, this. What? Right? What the fuck you talking about? What? Who? The pictures are stupid! Yeah. You're what? Follow me! Hey, uh... Shut up! There's three of them. There's two so more. So as you go through this, you see another cave. You see more werebats in there. And another cave to the south, there's more werebats in there. Uh, and you see that um, uh, as you get into this kind of square, there are doors to, like, buildings there's like one there oh let me put on the ping mode hmm. there's one here yeah, we can there's see the one there. here yeah so there's there's some doors there um as well uh as you, he continues down uh you see like a corridor uh you see another door right where he is and Comes around a bend. By the way, it's caves uh, right across uh, a couple of feet from the entrance. I would have cast dark vision on Griffin myself. Oh, okay. All right. So, um, Griff put dark vision. Okay. Uh, I'll say it's eight o'clock. Uh, eight a.m. So let me add that to the tracker. Okay. All right. All right, it's 8 a.m. And, uh, okay. So he gets here, and you see... Uh, I don't think I got a picture of him. Okay. You see a werebat um, here. He kind of comes out. Uh, and... He's, he's bigger than everybody else. He looks older. Um, he's in his hybrid form. Uh, so he's kind of like half bat, half goblin. Um, it looks kind of, you know, it's a little weird, right? It's kind of scary. Um, he His left eye, you can tell, is, is like white. Um, so... He's got a white left eye, and he has, um, uh, in the middle of his head, a shock of white hair. He looks to be an older goblin. Um, you see in his hand, uh, he kind of has like a doll. Uh, and you see that um, it's something he was actually like knitting. Oh. And it kind of looks like an elf with black hair uh wearing Hello? simple clothes um kind of sort of looks what like willow what? another gift for his daughter. oh so he's been making all these little things and hanging them all over the forest that's funny oh, as hell that's um right he's he's enamored with her it, yeah so it doesn't look like any of those oh okay yeah, so this is like a, a, a totally a different 
uh, art form, if you will, than that. Okay. Um, so, um, so he's he uh, he's like ah, uh, uh, what are you doing? Who are you? What are you doing here? Oh, uh, hey, you must be a uh, mobile. Yeah. Uh, we were told all about you. Um. Uh huh. What, uh. What are you guys doing here? Living? Yeah, but why here? Why not? You like rats? You like, you yeah. Like eating rats and mice yeah. and. Yeah. Yeah. Shit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. what if, what if, what if, what if you couldn't live here anymore? Uh, why? Uh, what do you mean, why? What do you mean? Right? Where would you go? Um, I don't know. There's plenty of places, though, right? I mean, you guys, you're, you're smart, resourceful, right? Well, Willow's not yeah, gonna we... kick us out. Oh no, of course not. Right? I mean, you would. Wow. You would just leave. She, uh, she did. She did make fun of you, though. Like she was mocking. No, you. she didn't. I, I mean, I wasn't gonna say. She's mocking, but. Oh, I mean, yeah. Sorry, don't don't say me. She's mocking your silly devotion to her. Yeah. Oh, what? She's not interested. She loves my gifts. No, she's she's yeah. She's, she's with the other goblin. They're in the other yeah. goblin. Yeah, they're they're gonna get married. Who? The droop drippy droop droopy droop 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 yeah droop yeah, yeah yeah. Well, she ain't gonna like him too much when I bite his ass and make him a werebat. Well, but but she'll she'll kill you if you do that. You nah, you gotta be stakey upon. Oh, what about uh, like Vool? The other caves. What was Vool sneaky about it? Was was he trying to be? Fuck sneaky? that guy! <laughs> you find him, kill him. Why? Hey, what's what? Because he almost broke the 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 pact with Willow. Almost. He was eating like rabbits, and she she came after me, and I was like, "No, nah, fuck that guy. He he dead." What what's the deal with all the dead people in the caves just to the north of here? Was that you guys? Did you guys do that? Nah. We moved in after. How long have you been here for? Ah uh, Maybe about a year and a half. Oh. We you know, we, we, uh... we kinda of struck up a, a deal with Willow. Well, if you're if you're sick of like eating squirrels and rats, like nah, we've pretty we're much good. Cleared a, we love cleared it. A level, we've, we've cleared a level three. You could have level three yourself. What the fuck's on level three? Humans? Yeah, nothing. Uh, Humans? Hobgoblins. We get us. We get our <laughs> snacks in. All right. Well, I don't know. We, we kind of like these caves ourselves. I mean, and uh, what if we were to? Make you a really, really rich guy. How much, how much gold would it take for you to us, for us, for you to live, leave this level and leave these caves to us? How much gold would it take? What's gold gonna do for me? Why are you gonna Everything. spend it in water deep? Like what the fuck are you talking sure. about? A well, level three, you could go yeah. to Skullport. Skullport? Yeah, there's plenty of stuff what to buy at Skullport. What am I gonna do in Skullport? You can buy stuff. You have tons of money. Grow your plants. You'll have gold. Yeah, think, think of the horse in Skullport. So as you guys are talking, uh, you know, you're kind of focusing a little bit on Mopar, you know, but you you find all of a sudden you're kind of surrounded. That's all right. Uh, hang on. As long as they don't get all bitey on us. Hang on. Give me one second. Hey, oh, freaking disease. Uh, hang on. Fabric. See you later for now. Okay. So, 
Um, you see that you're pretty much surrounded. Uh, as these things are kind of flying and filtering in from everywhere. And it goes... Mobar goes, um... Yeah, um... Why, why go to... We, we get up to Waterdeep. We have some snacks up there. So we don't feed you just, just on Ermin. Oh, so you do leave sometimes. You go to Waterdeep and snack up there. Yeah, we use one of them portals. Ah. Okay, I see. Uh, I guess there's no well, there's no convincing you to leave yeah. this level, eh? Absolutely not. All right, well, I guess we'll be on our way. Ah! Uh, <laughs> wait. Maybe you could do me a favor. What would, what that, would that look like? Well, you see, I don't have any need for gold. Okay, so you need someone to give all your gold to? No. Okay. But, I do have a need for blood. Uh, blood? Do you need some... Yes. You need so... You need some blood. Yes. I need one of you willing to... Be to sacrifice themselves to us. Yeah, for what exactly? For your blood. Yeah, no, but what, what would we get for that? Oh, you get to leave. Oh, we get the to three, leave. the other three get to leave. Yeah. You mean here right now? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'll tell you what. There's a there's a couple dragon cultists out there that need to. We'll bring we'll bring one of them to you guys. How's that sound? Okay. What do you stay behind just for collateral? Hmm. I don't think that's good. Don't trust us. Um. Why you don't trust me? What, you what, just what asked would you one of us collateral to for? sacrifice ourselves. Well, you might not come back. And what if we don't want to come back? Well, one of you's got to stay behind. Why? So we can drink their blood. What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> There's not going to be any that blood would, drinking that going would... on. Why? You, you We're drink not going to break the pack with Willow. We're not going to break the pack with Willow. Break the pack with Willow? Oh? Oh, Willow's rules don't apply down here. Oh. She didn't tell us that. Oh, she said that we were not to harm you. She, she told us not to harm you. Oh, that's right. She told us that you weren't allowed to harm us either. No. You see, we have an understanding with Willow. You come down in our caves, you can't harm us. But we in the sure fuck can harm you. Get them, boys. Oh, boy. Uh, roll for initiative. <laughs> As they're all attacking. Oh no, here. Woohoo! Oh boy. Yeah, I rolled low. <laughs> oh no. Wow. Oh, we're dead. Wow. Well, Mr. Lett has two extra numbers, all right? Yeah, a ten, a ten and an eight. eight. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Oh, Baron. Baron. Baron's like, see you guys. <laughs> they can't see me anyway. <laughs> the leader first. <laughs> All right. Aaron. Um, yeah, I mean, you're basically invisible in these caves. Uh, well, are you invisible? Let's see. Uh, a <laughs> Hang on. We don't have this any is light. a cave. Or is this... Yep. Nobody, were... Nobody has light on. Is this a giant cave in here? Or is this open and the side passages are caves? Hang on. Let me make sure on this. While you're doing that, I'm gonna quick quick parlay. I have two yeah. options here. I can okay. try and supernova the leader. Or I can drop a spike growth and slow down a bunch of them either to the north or south. 
They're uh, bats and fly. They're bats. Oh, shit. Oh. Right. I thought they all landed. Okay, uh, so Supernova the leader? I mean, yeah, they landed, but you could, they could just jump straight up in the air and fly, right? They don't, they don't well, have yeah, to walk. But, the, the, it, but, if they're, but if they're on the ground now and I cast spike growth, that means spikes have them, and they would take damage. If they try only if they away, move. Right? It's only if they move, right? Or is it when they initially... I think it's for every I'm not five sure. feet they move. I think it's for every five feet they move. It's not if they're so they try and take. Hand. At least it stops them, though, right? Like I'm, I'm assuming they're not ranged attackers. I could be wrong. Um, well, they can turn into a bat. Oh, oh, that'll, will they take damage? Or, they turn into a bat? No, no, fly. no, they fly up. Oh. Up. So and then... they probably echo locate. Yeah. So you might not be able to hide from them. So. so um, Action. <laughs> you're lucky they don't have that. That's good. So you don't have to worry about that. But I think they're out in the open. So they're actually in sunlight. Oh, but they you're would hate sunlight, sunlight, though, right? Um, that's good for us because they hate that's sunlight. Correct. Uh, you knew that. Um, when um, you talked to Vool, he really avoided the sunlight. Okay. So, okay. there's that. Okay. So, no advantage, but they're not in sunlight. So Correct. Unless sunlight you go in the caves. Now, the caves are covered, right? So, right now, I think the only person that's not directly is Mobar. So, he can see you, but he's in the cave. He's not in direct sunlight. He's the only everybody one. Everybody else is in direct sight belt. Yeah, everybody else, it's, you know, the sun's kind of beaten down. It's a little funky in which here, we sorry. Which we suspect they don't like, right? Yep. They're kind of squinting their eyes. They're not big fans. All right, okay. So I think if it's my turn, then I'm going to go ahead and cast uh, Hunter's Mark. I'm just, just going to um, throw this out there. Once we start attacking, we're kind of foobar with the druid, right? We are, and we'll immediately go down the Umber Hawk hole. Okay, okay. Right? Oh, so she didn't tell us. She self-defense. I mean, we're not going like, like, no, to give ourselves to these guys, right? I don't no, think she, she gives a shit. She said for us to run away if we were ever going to be harmed. Oh, uh, we were surrounded. I know, but that she doesn't care. So yeah. we're going to assume that she's going to try to come at us. So as soon as we can get out, we should, and we need to go down the Umber Hawk hole. That's the closest way that we know that goes off this level. And I don't think she'll well, leave this level. Well, we have to kill her in self-defense, and we can kill her in self-defense, but... Well, I don't think we'll be able to kill All her. Right. Um, I'm going to go and do minus five. Okay. And I'm going to give him a pew. Pew one. Ooh, nice. Uh, that, uh, that hits him. Okay, so the modifier is going to be a 10. Okay. Uh, I'm also going to go ahead and make him my favorite foe. Uh -oh. Okay. Oh, no. So he is going to take some damage from this. So okay. eat this Might bitch. Not. Okay. Ow. Um, yeah, so you see him take that damage... Uh, hang on. Does he? Does it look hang like on. it hurts? Hurts him at all? Hang on. Uh oh. Oh fuck! Are we fuck fucked? Because they're lycanthropes. It, it does not hurt him at all. Fuck. He plucks. Oh. The the arrow or the bolt out, and laughs. <clears throat> so we need silver magic. Yeah. Yeah. Well, shit. Um. One, Oops. two. No. I'm entering this guy's. I'm entering this guy's. Uh, you can't enter. Here, you yeah. can't pass them. You'd have to go through Griff. Okay. And that 
bat would get a attack of opportunity on you. This guy this here. here? Uh, right. Hang on. This yeah. Guy. I don't have much uh, choice. Yep. Yeah, that guy. Okay. Uh, yep. Hang on. So he'll get an attack of opportunity on you. Uh, which one is that? That's uh, one of the eight thousand. That's a. At least he's in the sunlight, though. That one. Yep. Correct. So that is at disadvantage. <laughs> and he will. Oh. Okay. So. Sorry. They do have blind sight. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. But it's daylight anyway. But so. It's still daylight. It doesn't matter. He's still going to have disadvantage. Uh, and he is going to try to bite you, Perrin, at uh, disadvantage. So. Here you go. He missed. Okay. Go ahead. Finish okay. uh, your attacks. Okay, so Umbral attack, we're switching to the Battle Axe. Okay. So I don't get any minus 5 plus 10 stuff on that, so it's just a straight attack. Yep. That's a hit. But he still has favorite foe and Hunter's Mark on him, so hopefully this hurts. Uh, yeah. Why did you get an extra one there? Oh, that's the Umbral attack. Yep, okay. Yeah, that yeah, did hurt. Umbral attack. That hurt. Yeah, and so the um, the umbral attack is now over, but I still have a second attack. Yep. So I'm removing the extra umbral attack dice. Yep. And I'm gonna whack him again with the axe. That's a hit. Nice. And actually, I do have a silver dagger on me. I wonder would that do more damage? Probably not. So it's too late now. Yeah. Uh, the leader's dead. And. Uh... Why is he dead? You hit him for... 16 and 40. 30 total? 30 total. Why is he, he didn't dead? roll well. Oh, hang on. Sorry. What the hell? I put the wrong one. No, he has more hit points than that. I went to the one below him. Sorry. He is He is not dead. He's, he's the beefy one. Uh, so, 30... Uh, so he's, he's hurt, but he's not dead. Sorry. I put the, the extra hit points on, um, a different werebat, which I shouldn't have, should have done. So he's, he's hurt. You hit him for 30, uh, but he's, he's the beefiest of these guys. Okay, so I've got my attacks in. I yell out, let us pass or you'll all die. Okay. Um, uh, I don't think he can fit through there. Is he tiny? No, he's not. He's he's small, right? Yeah, these guys are small. Yeah, he can't. He can fit through it. Yeah, he can fit though. No way. <laughs> yeah. I mean, if we were all on proper squares. Right. Well, you didn't put Mobar in the rise. He was supposed to. Yeah. Mobar is supposed to be here, so then Perrin would have run to here. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah like exactly. there. Yeah, like that. Yeah. Okay. Uh All right. So this guy, he doesn't and like. And this guy should be down. He should be down here. Right. The there you go. <laughs> okay. Uh, Alright, so this guy is going to attack you, Perrin. Disadvantage. He's in the sunlight. Um, he's got a scimitar. Oh, oh fancy. Yeah. yeah. Can he attack like that? That's hybrid form? Nope. Probably. <laughs> ah, okay. Yeah, he's in his hybrid form. All these guys are in their hybrid form, so they can make one scimitar attack and one bite. Alright, first attack. 
He missed. Now he's going to try to bite. That's a miss. Okay. Okay, stubble, stubby purple nose guy. Uh, I think that's where we'll pick up next week. Awesome. Ooh. All right. We're that's, uh, <laughs> you're, uh, yeah. That's we'll fun. see. So what I'm really worried about, honestly, is us getting away from Willow yes. in time. Yeah, <laughs> yep, I agree. We're going to be in big trouble. Uh, it's not from right. these whereabouts. Because we're probably going to take out a lot of these, so just killing one of them is bad enough. Exactly. But, I mean, we're already screwed because we, we've hurt this one. So I, I wouldn't say screwed. I mean, it, this seemed like it was inevitable at some point. Right. Yeah, I mean, this, to me, I think this is self-defense, though, right? Like, if she's going to attack us for defending ourselves, yeah, then fuck her. her. I'm oh, she don't sure. care. I'm pretty sure there was some point at which we were told it doesn't matter. Yeah, she said uh, when uh, we said, well, what if we get attacked? And she said something about then run away. Yeah. yeah. We can't run away, though. We're surrounded. We'd be suicide. Right. That's fine. I'm not, I got no problems killing these guys. Kill these guys, head to level three. Right. Hang, hang out there, take a nap. Right. <laughs> Learn some We're stuff. all going to die. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Where's that? <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna be werebats before we leave. Yeah, I mean, you guys will probably be werebats before you die. I don't know. I mean, that'll bring a whole new separate thing to the a whole rogue werebat. Yeah, us. right. That'd that be would fun. be fun. Different, yeah. Because yeah, they'll will like it. Is that bad? Does that mean we can grow wings and fly? Wow, that'd be cool. We can piss off a will o wisp be uh, immune to non-magical attacks. That'd be pretty. I mean, right? That would be pretty boss, wouldn't it? Yeah, I wouldn't right. wear bad. As long as I don't like lose control every thirty days. Right. Yep. Actually, it might be a good trade-off. We just lock ourselves in a room. So the problem we would we would probably make us go at least you know our our more chaotic or or evil because we'd be eating. You know, drinking blood all the time. That's the problem. Yeah. I suppose. I'm not sure. Yeah. I don't know that I could go the whole Louis route and just drink rat blood. Right. I know. <laughs> <sighs> well, cool. we'll see. All right. Well, um, I'm sure it'll be fine. Oh, yeah. I mean. I'm sure. There definitely won't be a green dragon over our heads in three rounds. <laughs> you haven't seen any, uh, like, bear... No, there's no, you're not in a cave, but you haven't seen a whole lot of birds over here, either. That's good. That abolet starts to sound real nice. <laughs> <laughs> well, she knew we were coming over here, so maybe when we're done, we immediately run back to her and we say, Oh my god, they're all dead! <laughs> We went to go see them, and they were all dead. <laughs> yeah. That'll work, maybe. right? She'll yeah. buy it, right? That, that, I mean, you know, you got totally bards and that. stuff on you, in your party, right? We got what? Bards and stuff in your party to you know, do all that. Right. Kind yeah, of. That, I'm oh, a wait. Smooth, I'm a, kind of a smooth talker. Yeah, you can talk, right? Yeah. Yeah. For Helm. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so we hide the bodies and run. I mean, it's an arch druid <laughs> with a bunch of force army. Yeah, we're not hiding. We'll fine. The There's a lot of bodies to hide. Sure, you'll be fine. It's fine. It's, it's fine. good. I'm sure it's fine. It's good. Yeah. It's fine. We're fine. Everything's fine. Yeah. I think you guys got a good plan of. Potentially, maybe just hightail on it and go to level six and see what's down there. <laughs> Find a way to pass bypass level five for the next ten levels. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. So that means we can't go back to level four. We can't go back to level five. <laughs> 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 Sorry, it's fine. Everything's everywhere, fine. We, everywhere we everywhere we go. 
or wanted. <laughs> Everywhere we go. We're good on level three, though, boys. We, <laughs> we're part right. of the, right? <laughs> we're part of yeah, the we're clan. There. You know, level two, you're good. You know, you're part of the market. You know. Been, no, uh, they almost turned on blacklisted. us. Blacklisted. Uh, they, you know, they're, they're messing with you a little bit, but they, they, they like you. Yeah, we'll see. You know. Sure, they so someday we'll get to kill all those little fucking goblins. Or maybe we'll, instead of wear bats, we'll be wear goblins. Oh no! <laughs> we didn't even think of that. <laughs> no, you don't goblins. turn into a bat. You just turn into goblins. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, some question, but is this if we do get poison, is it just like a poly laying on hands and we're good, or is it like like a wish spell type bad? Um, Can I kill? No, it's not wish spell. It, it, in, 5e, it's a disease, isn't it? It's a disease, yeah. So you okay, can so... cure it with Pally. Uh, okay, so it's not that huge a risk then. Okay. No, it's it's not that huge. Um, it's you know, it's just you... sur surviving the fight and then getting the fuck out of here is the real risk then. Yeah. He can only save two of us, though. So, I mean... No, I can do... I've got... Three? 35, so I can do seven. Oh, all three of them. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, so... I mean, you guys are all good there, so you don't have to worry about all that. You guys are, That's you guys are fine. I mean, yeah, no problem. <laughs> it's fine. Yeah. Everything is fine. fine. I think when the fireball goes off, though, and it, it notifies all the wildlife, they'll all go to Willow. <laughs> the, 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 that the, might be a little the, bit. When the mushroom cloud appears over the <laughs> <here. laughs> The mushroom cloud. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, I mean, you only have a wand of fireballs, right? You might as well check that out. Yeah. How many of these can you survive, ass? Two for you and two for you. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You two fireballs and you get a fireball. Y'all yeah. get a fireball. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Cool. Uh, yeah, so game next week. Uh, the following week after that, uh, I am going to be in Charlotte for a week, so I will not be able to uh, uh, play. That actually uh, works out because I'll be in Tennessee that weekend. Okay. I come okay. back on Sunday, but I mean, Thursday, to, I mean, th we leave Wednesday, and Thursday will be problematic. Yep.